Hey all, and welcome to the final day of the Hellfire Com Super Nintendo Fonds bonus block. Oh, I'm a bit nitlacked at this point, so let's play a nice and easygoing game by the name of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Now, uh, if you've been following the HFC YouTube channel, you will know that we basically did a 100% playthrough of this, so I'm not going to be going after all diamonds, pixel toad, secret objectives for each level. I'm just going to any percent this, and uh, you can watch the full version on YouTube if you fancy, but this was the penultimate game in the uh, the bonus block, and uh, yeah, it might appear in a different order in the actual YouTube playlist, but uh, we're doing it on the last day here because of a schedule shift, and I have Flame with me for this one. Yep, I'm here. I did see if Frixie wanted to stop by for this one, but apparently he's marathoned out. But So you got the subpar commentator instead. But, oh, well. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, you know, what did Richie turn up for that was marathon exactly? Well, I mean, like, he was here for Donkey Kong, he was here for uh, Smash and whatnot, and, like, given he also has a job. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, like, that's a bigger commitment overall. I'm gonna be honest, I forgot he was in Donkey Kong for a second, but that's absolutely right, he was in the angry Aztec portion. Yeah, like, part of that, because that particular level went on for fucking ages. Yeah, I, uh... Yes, heck, here's another bird flying off with something. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Yeah, I actually um, did the fancy YouTube timestamp big thing in uh, the, the video description of uh, DK64 run. Thought it would be neat that you can skip to level by level and whatnot. So you can see which ones gave us the most problems to 100%, really. That is one of the best features YouTube's added in a little while, actually. I like to use it for, like, me Sonic long plays and whatnot. Just mm -hmm. make it a bit more digestible for people. Ah, but new mode that now allows you to play using the Toy-Con VR goggles. You know, I've never picked up the Labo. No, I will say that I took one look at that and just thought, this is a gimmick I don't care about, and moved on. But, Tom, we do have a question redeemed from the chat from Kuranai. It says, question time, what's your favourite kind of gemstone? And there's his topaz. Uh, ruby. Actually, no. Emerald. Emerald green is actually my favourite colour. Emeralds are really pretty, yeah. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a game all about collecting treasure and whatnot, so it uh, feels very apt to be asked such a question. Yeah, there's loads of shiny things. Uh, like you seem to enjoy these games where you go around looking for things, don't you, Tom? Yeah, I like me a bit of collectifons, one of it. Yeah, well, I mean, like, you've shown that off in the marathon already, but <laughs> I'll say, like, I haven't actually put time into Captain Toad. I do remember the Captain Toad segments from Mario 3D World that this game was kind of based on. Mm -hmm. And it, like, the whole puzzle platformer thing never really been one of my things, but I do appreciate what this game is. It's a charming little, you know, little spin-off kind of deal. Mm -hmm. So as we can see here, there are three diamonds to collect per level. Diamonds help you unlock later stages. Uh, Pixel Toad is an optional thing, so we don't need to worry about him, and each stage also has a bonus objective. I could have grabbed the Golden Mushroom here. Uh, like I said, we've done all of those in our uh, playthrough on the HFC channel, so I'm just going to play normally on this one. Yeah, and Gold, men and Gold Member mentions that this did also get a 3DS version, which took me by surprise a little bit, I will say, because like, the Switch was out at that point, but mm -hmm. hey. It's the kind of game that it doesn't seem like it uses much like processing power or anything, so at the same time they might as well, you know? Yeah, yeah, it struck me as kind of like Luigi's Mansion 3D, honestly, just a way to artificially lengthen the uh, lifespan of the 3DS, sadly. Well, so the thing is, like, it's not that big of a deal with Captain Toad because it came to the Switch as well. It, ju it just seemed more, like, confusing with Luigi's Mansion because it's like, that's the kind of game that people would probably want a HD version of. Yeah, oh man. That in HD would look amazing. Yeah, like, if, even when we were playing it the other day with just, like, the GameCube version upscale, that looked really good. So, yeah, if they could get, like, a proper upscale version of that, like, natively, that mm -hmm. would work well. I'm, I'm still not sure if I set the uh, frame rate correctly on there, but uh, it looked nice on the stream, at least. Yeah, it, it didn't seem jittery. Like, Powell version stuff is kind of fiddly to work with. So, like, I think, because today we're playing this game and we're also doing Super Mario 64, you have the virtual console version of that, right? Mm hmm. So, is it the Wii virtual console version you have or the Wii U version? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is actually the uh, 
the Wii version, mate. Okay, I'm not sure whether that's the power or the NTSC one, because it's like for most of the Wii U versions, they just like they gave us the NTSC ones, but the Wii Virtual Console was a bit more hit and miss. Right. So we're left we're left to see. Like I can always tell you to fix it if it gets a bit like jittery on stream or whatever. Well, I'm just streaming it from uh, the Wii U, so whatever. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Two levels down. Nice. Uh, the game is actually split into three books, so this is book one. Uh, there's a boss at the end of books one and three, but not two for some reason, if I recall correctly. Ah, oh, that's strange. Alrighty. I don't have to get all the diamonds, but getting more than one per level just helps a little bit. Yeah, it just boosts up a little bit. Doop doop doo. Alright, you go down. Well, you go over here at least. Got us a key. A gold member, I don't know if this game's supposed to run at 60, but the stream's at 30, so. Well, we, uh, <laughs> <off> the edge. <laughs> well, we rendered it at uh, 30 on uh, the YouTube copy. Yeah, but that doesn't really mean much, does it? Well, Richie and I researched it beforehand for the playthrough. Oh, okay. Which is to say, I asked him, and he said, it's not 60, so... Oh, okay, we'll roll with that then. <laughs> I'll take Fritchie's word for it. Okay, well, at least I know where I stand, though. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I've seen Richie fuck up rendering stuff before, too, so... Oh, I can't yeah. really, <laughs> I can't really point it out there. Alright, uh, where am I going with this? Here, so streams at one yeet permission. I'm getting confused. Uh, it's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, gold member. I would say that Nintendo is usually okay with like frame rate stuff. Sometimes they do sort of miss it a bit. Like I know Breath of the Wild had some issues and whatnot. Like Mario is usually okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Odyssey is 60. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. <sighs> All right, mushroom razor. There we go. Yeah, Breath of the Wild was a Wii U port to the Switch, but then, in fairness, it's a good handful of Wii U first-party games did natively run at 60. So, mm -hmm. I, I guess so. To be fair, it is a huge game, you know, but still. It's not so much the fact that it's 30 that's the problem, it's the fact that sometimes it doesn't hit 30. Yeah, that's a little bit problematic. Mm. No, I want you to go down the ladder, please. And Damo says that he's still hoping for a new Pikmin. You and a certain furry Muppet too, mate. Yeah, it's not very nice to call him a Muppet, mate. Come on, no. <laughs> I mean, he's less of a Muppet than a lot of YouTubers, let's be fair. You know what? I'm going to give him that. <laughs> no, I just want to put it out there. I don't have anything against Arlo. I just feel like sometimes he can be a bit one no and it gets a little bit... It's beneath him, I feel. I like a lot of Arlo's videos. I, I do go and watch his like, takes on quite a few things. It's just, to me, the th whole him and Pikmin 4 thing, he kind of dug his own grave there. Mm -hmm. now, it's like one of the rules of being online in the fact that like, if something's actually bothering you, just keep it on the down low, because otherwise people will see it as a weak point and start. it will become funnier for people who want to fuck with you. Mm -hmm. Sadly. Well, I mean, like, I've been the troll and the victim in both situations, so I can't really say much. Mm. Also, there's nothing you can do to bother me about uh, talking about SU, mate. I'm sorry. Trust me, I will keep trying. I will find a way eventually. Uh, you're too <laughs> obvious is the problem. Uh. Alright, so, gotta manipulate toads here. Can you go over there? Go over there. Nice. Nice. And now two toads come together, more powerful than ever. Come on. Out the gate. Yeah. I guess you could 
sort of called this a speed run. Like, I'm just trying to go through the game uh, as fast as I can do. Yeah, so, like we said, any percent run, that's what we're going for. Oh, I murdered him. Alas. You pro probably don't want to admit to that on a stream. Yeah, well, I've said it now, so... There is no going back. Do go from here. That will help out later. So like I said, I don't have to get every diamond, but it will just help later with unlocking certain levels and whatnot. Yeah, plus like, if it's right there, then you might as well just go and get it, and yeah. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Dum -dum -dum. Uh, hey there, Phantom Crusader. I really like that Pikachu emote you got there. Ha! <laughs> That's cool. I think, wasn't there like some promotional thing with Pokémon that there's a lot of the Pokémon emotes around now on Twitch? I wouldn't know, honestly, mate. I, I, like, I do see a lot of Pokémon emotes show up from time to time, and I think they're from that, but I'm not entirely sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got the clip of you admitting to murder. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> put, that, put that on the marathon swing. Uh, oh, this one's fun to get the secret objective on. Uh, you have to not get spotted. Oh. It's stealth. Thankfully, there is a little tip here if you're using uh, Joy-Cons and whatnot. You can just okay. hold ZR and you can hold someone in place like that. Alright, let's go, guys. Get all the Twitter and stuff open again because I was not prepared this morning, if you can't tell. It's fine, mate, you're doing a good job. There we go. Go for it, get the stuff in it. There we go. Oh no, no, I'm mini to Ord. That's what I get for trying to be fast. Yep, don't go too fast. I want to be fast though. <laughs> what tough shit they ain't announced in your game yet. <sighs> Hope they will soon, for the love of God, just saying. Yeah, like, I'm hoping this means that, like, maybe the next game that comes out will be a little bit more substantial than the last ones, but also it's Sonic. Mm, yeah. <laughs> like, me when I'm already defeated and tired talking about Sonic sounds even more flat than when I'm actually awake and talking about Sonic, I'm well aware, but you know, he's such a big part of my life. He is. <laughs> For better or worse. He taught me how to be a person. <laughs> Sonic was more of an influence on my life than I care to admit. <laughs> right, come on, climb, climb. There we go. Uh, Goldmember's asking, is there a way to hold the Shy Guys in place if you have, are using the Pro Controller? Um, I'm pretty sure it's still just ZR, because you get the pointer, even if you're using a Pro Controller. Because I was originally going to play this with my 8-bit Doe uh, controller thingy, but um, no, it just seems like you get it on screen and you can use the motion controls to point it around. Yeah, whatever works. Uh, I think the Pro Controller does still have some gyro stuff, so there's probably a way to make that work. I don't know about like, the third party ones or not, but, mm -hmm. but like, I imagine it's the gyro shit that's why the official Nintendo ones cost so much. <laughs> yeah. Alas. I think I got sold by every Shy Guy there, so we'll just move on. <laughs> it's fine. Ready for adventure! That's me being a toad. You don't have to be a toad, it's fine. But I want to, though. I'll respect that. We all have our dreams. Why will no one allow me to be the thing that I wish to be? Uh, oh god, this is weird. Thank you. Not big brained enough to be a toad, because that is biological on his head there. Nope, it's a hat. No, it's not. It's a hat. <laughs> it is a hat! <laughs> <laughs> We're not going out on the last day of this marathon with falsehoods, okay? <laughs> falsehoods and tricks, that's all it is. That's the point though, most toads 
Giggy's basically simping for Peach, so I guess that's <laughs> your role now. Oh, well, he's their royal attendant. Is he not a fucking simp? We don't actually know if he gets paid or not. Well, yeah, that's a good point. Just kind of sped through that one, but it's fun. I mean, Toadette certainly ain't fucking paying them in Mario Maker. Yeah, that's literal canon, actually. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, it, the story in that game, like Mario Maker 2, it starts off being endearing and then it kind of gets more and more worrying as you hear more and more about like the working conditions for the Toads. Yeah, it's a little bit worrisome, actually. <laughs> oh, minecart level. Yeah, boy. Aha. Uh -huh. Gotta make sure you turn around. Yeah. It's gotta be something before you start. And, uh... There we go. I think this one is get all Betty bodies, which obviously I'm not going to do, so... Yeah, just sh shoot anything that's in the way, but, <laughs> yeah. You know. I, I would say I'm running on fumes today, I feel a, a lot better now than I did earlier today, but, man, I'm, I'm starting to feel the weariness. I will say this is probably the most tired I've been on Marathon, but, eh, it's the last day we can power through. Mm -hmm. As long as you enunciate properly, everything will be fine. Why would I start now? <laughs> Good point. Uh. Uh, I will say though, like, I'm trying to get better with like projecting my voice because this is one thing that I usually have as a crutch when we do like the pre-recorded stuff. In that I tend to process my voice a lot because this is just a natural thing in my voice that even when I go out of my way to project like this, it's the bass and the mid-tones sort of blend together and what I usually do in post is I boost the mid-tones to make them more distinct mm. but obviously when you're just listening to me on the stream you get the pure unfiltered mumbly experience mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah Kyrex you can probably call it residual tiredness although I did hurt myself the other day uh, so I'm still recovering from that I also hurt myself and it like it was just before we did Luigi's Mansion and I was sort of sitting there like it was hurting a little bit through the run but I didn't want to make a thing of it oh. and then as soon as I stood up after we were done it was like holy shit it was like a stabbing pain in my foot yeah <laughs> it was my fault that got injured as well yeah because like for mine it's I was I just dropped a few bits of paper on the floor and before I got around to just picking it up, I slipped on the paper and kicked the side of my desk there. So oh. it fucking stung. Yeah. It's still a little bit sore, but thankfully the worst of it's out of the way now. Well I stepped on a nocturne plug and it left a layer of skin behind, so Lovely, yeah. Uh get rid of that. Then you go over there. I feel like it's a little bit of character development, maybe the fact that I didn't in initially like react with what's the plug okay like I would have if I wasn't half asleep. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I can be nice toward the end of a marathon. If it was still at the start, I wouldn't have been. Yeah. Fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just saying. Yeah, not wrong. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I was completely not paying attention there. I thought I was walking through the door. Did well. walk through the door of death. Ooh, you need to stop. You just need to stop. <laughs> I'm on all day, I hope you're ready. <laughs> I'm fine, man, don't worry about it. <laughs> Plus, I mean, like, the final run, you're doing me a favour too, so I ain't gonna be too much in myself through that. <laughs> yeah, I think I might have... Uh, actually developed some cool tech for that, so... Okay. You'll see when we get 50 stars. Oh, I remember you talking about yeah, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it'll go a bit better than the, like, clipping through the old scooter tech from the first day. <laughs> hey, I managed that, it just wasn't live on the stream, or right? <laughs> uh, I mean, once the stream's over, it doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't count. I mean, I know, but... Not, don't try and gain favour with the stream audience, okay, by being pathetic. <laughs> I'm not doing that intentionally. <laughs> That's my job, I'm the pathetic one. There we go. Just take it easy, Tom, you got all the time. 
I'm back with Simon with Captain Toad to die here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we've just had a couple of donations come through, actually. We have $50 from the Phantom Crusader, who says, Hey guys, I finally got a chance to donate and wanted to help out in any way I can for a great cause. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much for that, mate. Mm -hmm. And we have another $50 donation from Kyrex, who says, Here's a little bit of money for the mutual foot-related hospital bills. <laughs> well, it's going to the kids, but thank you very much for the donations, guys. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it, so, bro. We are now at $8,868.69, so nice. <sighs> yes, Flame, nice. It's all you, mate, it's all you. But yeah, uh, feel free to spread this stream around, guys. This is the last day of the marathon. Uh, tomorrow, probably as soon as I... Uh, finish actually that will be where I change the donate link back to the personal one and then the marathon's done yep so by the end of today we'll have a final count let's see how high we can get it guys I mean you know you like seeing the number go up as much as I do come on oh there we go I, I've never been good at shit I don't know if it's obvious <laughs> well I kind of wanted to call if we ever do a licensed games marathon licensed to show Okay. <laughs> what, you, you have a problem with that? You don't have a problem with that? Let me know. Uh, we'll workshop it. Okay, yeah. Doop -doop. I have enough treasures now, I will move on. Is this the last one? No, that's just coins. Oh, this is where the hard part comes in. Oh, jeez. It's okay, it's okay, we take those, we take those. Run. Got an extra hit for a reason. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Hey, yeah, gold member, the FTR one was licensed to chill, they beat us to the cool name. Mm -hmm. Well, I prefer fun at the end of it, but uh, gotta break out tradition sometimes. Yeah, like I say, we workshop it. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> hey again, Carex. We've got another donation from Carex for eight dollars and seven cents that says censored the sixty-nine cents. <laughs> <laughs> so we're now at eight thousand eight hundred sixty-eight dollars and seventy-six cents. Nice. <laughs> So yeah, we're just trying to rescue Toad at this point. Yeah. Toad's tired too, but he powers on like some kind of donation raising guy. <laughs> Toad's the real champ here. Yes, yes he is. <laughs> Apparently the censor quirk was meant to be fuck. Yeah, that's one thing about this tilt fire which it does censor it, and I think the funniest censor from the whole marathon so far that I noticed when we were doing Donkey Kong 64, it censors the word beaver. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's get a few more lives. Yeah, go for it. Hmm. Uh, what do you fancy, Flame? Pickaxe or cherries? Uh, pickaxe. Okay. Here we go, like, let's go get this bloody thing. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Just a few show. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Hey, Corex asks Minecraft LP when? <sighs> Never. Maybe 10 years ago? <laughs> yeah, maybe 10 years ago. <laughs> probably would have been a good uh, place to ask. I remember when I couldn't even run Minecraft on my computer. That was a bit weird. Huh, like, I remember kids in my school playing Minecraft on the shitty school computers that didn't even have a graphics card. Yeah, it, I, it was something with the graphics card not compatible with the rest of it, I think, because it just kept crashing all the time. Maybe I remember your old computer did have graphics problems a lot, though, so it might have just been something to do with that. And uh, I haven't got the up-to-date drivers for my thing right now, but I will say I haven't had a crash yet, knock on wood. 
Yeah, like, that's the thing, like, the graphics card you've got now is better than the one I have, so you should be fine for a little while. <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay, we have another donation from NEP, I wonder who this is, mm. of $1.93, and the comment is, the 69 cents returns, NEP be praised. Why can't you just let me die? <laughs> Not until you finish Mario 64. Okay, fine. Hand uploaded the VODs, then you can die. Okay. Fucking asshole. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just making sure the work gets done. Mm. Very nice. <laughs> I take back what I was saying about Odette being a uh, capitalist abuser. <laughs> we. Yeah. I wonder if I could be cheeky and get away with just a few diamonds for each one. Well, like, if you can't, then there's no harm in going back. Mm-hmm. Turnip Cannon Jungle. Just kind of blitzing through these, really. Yeah. Uh, it looks like a much simpler game when you're not trying to 100% it, so... Oh yeah, for sure, mate, for sure. It shouldn't be that long of a stream, really. Nope. And uh, Mario 64 won't be that long if I get the uh, the skip correct. Yeah, well, we're sort of any percent in that one, too, as well, even if you don't, so that should be fine. Mm hmm Hmm. I'm not actually sure where the other diamonds are on this one. <laughs> okay, I'm enjoying this fight going on. We've got another donation from Kyrex for a dollar and a cent, and the comment is just, no. <laughs> oh, it's for charity, it's for charity, it's for charity, it's for charity, it's for charity. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, guys. Come on, keep, keep fighting. It's profitable for the kids. <laughs> for the kids, Thomas. For the kids. For the kids. How the fuck do you get the... Yeah, whatevs. Oh, is it through here? Yeah. Might as well get a few where I know there's a few. You cannot run. The perspective when you're on the bottom of these platforms always did sort of fuck with me a bit, I will say. Mm -hmm. uh, collecting power stars here, collecting power stars next as well. We have a donation of a dollar ninety-nine from Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much. Yes. Jesus. <laughs> you guys, I can see the donations as they come through, but if if it seems like I'm missing one, feel free to nudge me. <laughs> sure, sure. Pop up prairie town. Oh, this place looks pretty. You can't touch me. I mean, it looked like you did sort of face between them two there. A little bit. Hmm. What's down there? An extra life is what it is. I was waiting for you to walk onto that platform and die straight after getting a life. I'm not going to lie. Not today, mate. Not today. Oh yeah. Big brain antics going on right now to get these diamonds. I'm not a fan of this big brain thing. <laughs> <laughs> why? Can't you into it? I'm just saying there's a reason why we didn't do any of the brain training games in this marathon. I forgot those games even existed, I'm going to be perfectly honest. Uh, like, the closest we got was like the one little micro game that looks like eating Wario were. <laughs> yeah, that uh, says a lot about me, I think. Hmm. Ah, fuck it, I'll get it. Guys, could you get away from the ladder, please? You're asking a lot of them, you know that. I know. Uh, so, got a question from Kyrex. Do you think Toad could make it as a Smash character? Mm, I'm gonna say no. 
I feel like his movesets would be quite a bit limited here, so probably not. Well, there we go. Ba -da -ba -da -da, yeah. I mean, technically, yeah, Toad is already in Smash under Peach's dress. <sighs> All right. Yeah, maybe you're right about the whole simp thing. <laughs> He's just looking out for his princess. It's okay. Don't fucking start me, alright? <laughs> I started years ago. <laughs> Drop road dash. Run, you beautiful stallion. Silver Dude says, I think Captain Toad has a costume in Mario Maker 2, which is completely inaccurate since you can jump. Uh. It's like, yeah, that is Captain Toad's like, thing. His puzzles oh. revolve around the fact that he doesn't jump. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can't just rush ahead like that. Which makes that one moon in Odyssey where he's right on the plank just over the bottomless pit that bit more morbid. A little bit, yeah. Jesus. Uh, I, I, I still surprised myself with that, like during Odyssey, when I got that moon in the Lake Kingdom without the shape shape. I didn't actually think that was possible. Which one's that, mate? You know the one where it's like the really deep dive that you have to go down and then Captain Toad's at the bottom? Oh, that one, yeah, it's possible. Well, yeah, I did it, but I didn't know it was, because like, I started doing it and then I thought, oh shit, I don't have a cheap sheep. And right. then like, I was like probably a frame or two away from dying and I suddenly got into the little air bubble. I died the second you said dying. <laughs> dying, 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 dying. Such a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I start to wake up now, are you? No, <laughs> but I do have Luke's idea that I'll work my way through as we go. Okay. And then, when I've got, I've overestimated how many I'd need, I've got loads of balls left, I'm probably sure I'll give it to me brother or something on the Marathon's done it, I don't need them anymore. Fair enough. I am doing my best to get off the fizzy drinks and that, because that's what fucked up my teeth. Okay. I will respect that. It's all good. Uh, Protector of Memes asks, favourite cage 2 Keyblade? Um, hmm. It's an interesting question. I'm not sure I have an answer for it right now, but... Cage 2 Keyblade, um... That's really tough, actually. I don't think I have an answer for you. Yeah, and I don't have an answer because I haven't actually played cage 2 Mm-hmm. That old chestnut. Oh, I accidentally got the uh, bonus objective. That's right. Maybe you should pay less attention in general. Maybe. <laughs> oh, it's a go 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 across here. Hmm. Oh, I see. And you go across there, and you go in there, and you get the thing there, and you go back across here. Be gone, foul spectre. He's dead. <laughs> Loki Fex says, Tom points out being able to hold enemies in place. Probably forgets ten minutes later. Well, I'm not trying to hold the enemies in place. <laughs> Just saying. It probably might have helped. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. Uh, 
That's, that's more coherent than anything I've ever said, and you know it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Don't make me feel bad. <laughs> if you're feeling bad, that means you're losing, just so you know. I know. I can't help that, my bleeding heart. I can't help being an arsehole, it works out. Yeah, well. Here's a quick tip. Don't fuck up. Okay. I'll bear that in mind. Alright, since we chose pickaxe last time, I'll go with cherries this time. Yeah, go for it. Not the cherries one I was thinking of. All right. I've got coins though, so it's fine. Hmm. See, I'm keeping a little bit ahead of the curve, so that's fine. Yes. You're a little bit above, so as long as you don't have to go back for ages, we're fine. Mm -hmm. Who likes train levels? I do. This isn't just a train level, this is a snowy train level, so it's got two layers of aesthetic. Oh, yes. Silver Dude says, to think that Captain Toad was originally a Galaxy NPC, then got upgraded to get bonus levels, and now he's have his own games. Like, yeah, Captain Toad is, like, out of all the characters that they've added to the Mario series in recent years, he's probably got the most, like, character building, really, hasn't it? Mm, I, I don't think it's the same Captain Toad between the games as the thing. Well, we don't really know that, given how they work, but... Uh, <laughs> Oh, is he in Mario Kart 2 as well? I think everyone's in Mario Kart 2. We have a proper Mario Kart 9 already, please. It would be fucking nice, wouldn't it? One that doesn't fucking fleece you out of money. Would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. God, I do not care for mobile games at all. <laughs> I mean, we have a console, so... <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I feel like there's something I could do here. Maybe I gotta climb up somewhere. Aha! There we go. Nice. Please, Nintendo, don't create baby pooling. They probably already have. <laughs> it's already a thing, you just don't know it. <laughs> Baby Gold Metal Pauline EX. Well, I mean, to be fair, it's not like Mario has an extended canon with, like, maybe RPGs or something they could take characters from. They do have to reach. Yeah, that's... Mm. <laughs> Don't make me sad, Flame. It's the last day of the marathon. I want happy memories. Okay. I can't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Ah, <laughs> <clears throat> oh, bloody hell. It keeps happening. <laughs> and away they go. Yeah, once happy memories, go comes with flame. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> to be fair, everyone else is busy today. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is the uh, the finale, of book one. Yeah, okay. cool. I don't know how levels there are per book, how many levels there are. So you could possibly look that up. Thank you, Dick. 
Yeah, it's time for Wingo and his whack down. Looks like first two have 11, the third one has 10. Uh, I don't think that's true, you might want to click more, mate. Okay, because I'm just looking through the Polygon guide here. Yeah, that's the one that trick, tripped me up the first time. Okay, maybe that's like for the Wii U one or something, I don't know, let me have a little look. No, if you look at the bottom of the list, it should say more. Okay, I found the IKEA one, which seems a little bit more like padded out. So yeah, 1 is 18, 2 is 18, and 3 is 28. There you go. No problem, we got this. No, I don't want to be blown off the tower. It's okay, Tom, you got this, you got this. Bah. Bah. Fuck. That's what I get for being uh, something. Oh man. Oh jeez. Don't let it set in, Tom. <laughs> it's fine. We'll make it through eventually. Yeah. Uh, sure, you might have just broke Captain Toad's ankles, but he'll live. I'm not sure if he even has ankles. Good point. He definitely has feet that would hurt. Yeah. He definitely has feet. This much we know. Whoa. Look, alright, I'm just trying to get through this. Just trying to have a good day, good memories. My headset keeps slipping down for some reason. You need to put, like, tighten up the headband. Mm. There we go. No! Ah, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Off you go. Hmm. Okay, I think I might know what I was doing wrong now. That's fine, like, if X we see you later. Thanks for stopping by, mate. Mm -hmm. Let's go, you big buzzard. Yeah, so you just destroy your own ammo there. <laughs> yeah, uh Come on. Oh jeez. Keep confusing run with throw. Yeah. Although I don't think you can run and throw at the same time, so that's probably the reason. Uh, possibly, yeah. Uh, got to get yourself in place and then chuck it. Uh, uh. Cheeky bastard. Oh. <laughs> Saw that? The amount of disrespect Captain Toad receives. 
you are being just a complete bastard. <laughs> there we go. Can I get this? Yay. There we go. Nice. Eat your vegetables. <laughs> and he just dies, I guess. Yeah, the star! And Toad Air, but mostly the star! <laughs> yeah, we know which one's the shiny one and which one's the one who doesn't pay the star. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a bad boss fight at all. Hopefully the nice and shininess looks good on the stream at the bitrate I'm uh, streaming at. Yeah, it looks pretty clean right now. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't skip the credits. Frankly, I don't, think, I, 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 don't, I don't think the credits are that long anyway, so... We get to see the toads in a minecart, it's fine, let it play. Fine. <laughs> So yeah, come on guys, help us get over 9,000 today. Yeah, come on, you know I want to ship both of the main. Oh lord, how massive. <laughs> yeah. but that's a good question, Kyrex. We are here raising money for the Child's Play charity. It's the final day today. But what they do is they provide toys and games to children in the hospital. You can contribute to the calls either by clicking the donate button just below the stream or you can click on that link that Kurenai has helpfully just posted in there, the tiltify.com link, and all the money you donate goes directly to the charity. Mm -hmm. So it's well worth supporting. Yeah, it is kind of a Black Knight situation where you got some fake out credits. Yep. Book one complete. Now for book two, Earth. And then book three, Fire. The end. I'm aware of the joke, but I'm not acknowledging. That's fine, mate. <laughs> if you could sound less like a zombie, that would be appreciated. <laughs> okay, why is it now a problem? <laughs> <laughs> because you're annoying me now, that's the thing. <laughs> uh. Special episode, I believe, is the DLC. We'll cover that on the YouTube channel at some point, but uh, not now. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> they have conquered the diorama. He's back. He always comes back. <laughs> and now it is. Toadette's time to shine. She functions in, is... in exactly the same way, so it's just a palette swap, really. Yeah, but it just changes up the like, characters a little bit. Yeah. Cool. It's nice when you get an alternate character to play as throughout the story. Mm hmm. <laughs> 
So I forget, are her levels like hard of takes or is it just like a different alternate take on what you've done? Uh, no, these are completely different. Okay, cool. We. Okay, that's cold sliding down. <laughs> ah. Well, I'm not getting that now, so whatever. <laughs> uh, I think these charging chucks do need to rethink their strategy a little bit. <laughs> Just a wee bit, yeah. get that golden mushroom, but I'd prefer to get the diamond. Well, it's the diamonds you need to progress, isn't it? So, yeah. Yeah. Darn you. That's not coolio of you at all. Uh. One down, 17 to go. <laughs> Would have been amazing if the charging truck came from off screen and knocked <laughs> yeah. her off. Uh. Oh, she clipped through you and went off himself. <laughs> yeah. Like, some things you can't get the secret objective and all the diamonds on the first go. Because you'll notice I had to drop down to get the uh, the golden mushroom. There we go. Which is fair enough. It's just, like, it seems like an incentive to replay levels. Basically. We got the key. But to what? Stuff down here, that's what. Hmm. I think I may have bollocked up a tad, so I have here. <laughs> yeah, maybe you need to get the key to a higher level. Alas. Oh, well, you got a shiny thing, so that works out. Mm hmm. The key will respawn if I leave it alone, or if I just chuck it into the ether. Do you know how, how much that fucking thing cost? Uh, no, actually. <laughs> I don't care to think about such things. <laughs> yeah, ain't in our budget, don't matter. Nope. Tiny Chonat! <laughs> uh, apparently Damos is deciding on his game for August's quick look. Mm -hmm. I'll start taking those a uh, couple of days after we finish. Yeah, get, like, get a couple of days break before you start doing more <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, that goes for you as well, Flume. Oh, well, I've got a schedule to keep up, so I'm working tomorrow no matter what. Fuck off, Fabio. <laughs> No, I've, I've kept daily stuff up for about three years now. I ain't gonna ruin that because I'm a little bit sleepy. I can get one video out tomorrow. It's fine. Fine. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, you're a bad friend, Tom. You don't care about your friends. Oh, here you go, caring about your friends and they don't listen to you. <laughs> to be fair, I've never said that. Yeah, I don't think anyone said that. I just kind of made up a, a straw man in my head, so it makes me sound <laughs> correct. Uh. That's the thing, if you make up easily beatable enemies, then you'll always win. Oh yeah. That's the end Tom way, baby. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Alright, get out. Alright, fine, I'll leave. <laughs> oh, I didn't have a ticket. Uh. Those coins were right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sinister street signs. 
Here I go. You don't have to do a toe deck for us. It's Gilbert fine. Gilbert Godfrey, at your service. Hmm. Nice. I actually forgot all about that one, but whatever works. If it's there, just take it. No. Yeah, it doesn't look all that sinister. Uh, there's spooky music happening now. Just, just take my word for it. Okay. <laughs> Nope, nope, leave me alone. Leave me alone. You might see a lot of uh, ideas of whatnot that were actually in uh, Super Mario 3D World here. Oh, it, make, it makes sense given it did sort of start as a little mini game in 3D World. Mm hmm. Onward to that floaty fun water park. Here I go. The cousin of the super fun happy slide. <laughs> I was gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's over here then like? If I could actually go in the tunnel properly. A diamond, in it. That's fair enough, Silver Duke. We appreciate all the hosts that you've done so far during the marathon. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that really does help out. Sure does. As does uh, spreading the marathon link around, asking people to uh, spread the word and so on. And of course, donating, which many of you have done. Uh, you don't have to. These streams are free, after all, but uh, uh, we appreciate the effort you guys go to. Da, da, da. Speaking of donations, we have just had another one from Crazy Harlequin for six dollars and thirty-one cents. It says, "Thanks again for raising money for a worthy cause and entertaining us at the same time. Oh. Thank you very much for your donation. We're currently now at eight thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars on so, the dot. We're so close. <laughs> and guys, let's get the meme number. You know you want to. Be likey memes." Cha la 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 la, yeah. Yeah, Toad Deck can apparently breathe underwater. All Toads can. And depending on the game, Mario can as well. For a little while at least. For a little while at least. So yeah, feel free to ask any questions you want, guys. It gives Flame something to do relying them. <laughs> yep. Because <laughs> Lord knows I've got nothing else right now. <laughs> oh, shush. Right on the noggin. Oh yeah. Got him. I think the bonus thing here is take out all the Koopa Troopers, but I can't be asked with that. Yeah. See if that'll don't take damage, which is equally as a uh, yikes. And there's three fucking Hammer Brothers. Yeah, I think that one's gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass. It's, it's a bit much, so it is. Oh. That's fair enough, Crazy Harlequin. We appreciate all the donations you've given so far. Uh huh. Hmm. Nice. Now, this one, I believe, if you miss it, you can't get it again without restarting the level, so just think on. Yeah. <laughs> what you gotta do. Mm. Alright, super fun, happy magical ride. This time with bullet booze instead of hammer prize. Yeah. 
thought you were going to say Halibut Bros there for a second. <laughs> so we have a trivia question apparently. So, what material was used for the sewers in the original Mario Bros? Uh, I don't know actually. Bricks. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not doing the stopping and starting things now, guys. <laughs> I just understood what you were talking about there. I'm sorry, that was the first game of a marathon that started two weeks ago. Yeah. Leave me alone, I'm old. Yeah, that's your excuse for stuff, and mine is that I'm bad at it. No, there's other words to describe you, Flame. None of them fit for a live stream. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you got to follow Twitch in terms of service. Isn't it? <laughs> 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 <sighs> 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 Give me a sec, I want to see if I can actually tighten this heads up a little bit. Yeah, I find it. pushing the headband down a little bit tends to make it tire. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm just watching it out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have mine like there all the time, but like, to me, it's not the headset itself that makes the noise, it's the fact that I can't keep my fucking head still. Yeah. Yeah. I just get enthusiastic when I'm talking about stuff, I think. Oh, I love Pokemon. Love it. I mean, it was a bigger problem than Rivals, let's be honest. Uh, it was a little bit. Just saying, when I edit my stuff, I trim all that out. Just saying, when I edit my stuff, I trim all that out. <laughs> what even are we at this point? I don't know, it's the final day. <laughs> In the final days of the Hellfire Com Super Nintendo phone, pettiness was at a height. Yep, and we have another donation from Nep for a dollar sixty nine and the comment is Nep Nep, so now it ends in sixty nine cents again. Hey look, all fives. Why didn't someone make a donation for five dollars fifty-five cents? That's not as funny. I'm gonna fucking lose it. Seriously, I'm at my limit. <laughs> uh. You know, guys, if we want to get a lot more donations in, we could get it to nine four twenty sixty-nine. It's all for the kids, Tom. Yeah. It's all for the kids. 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 <laughs> Uh, Goldman Brass, when's the Xenoblade LP starting? Uh, that should be in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we've got Sonic Rivals and the Pokemon DLC playthroughs going up, and I take it it's going up after. Uh huh. Yeah, that works out. So I'm probably just going to be running that for a while while I get caught up on the TV comms and other shiz. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. And Goldman also asked, did you try out the alternate control scheme? I take you that's in reference to Xenoblade. I'm not really sure what you're referring to there, mate. Ah. Da -da -da -da. Apparently you can switch up the D-pad with the trigger using the switch configuration. Hmm. Uh, no, I don't think I did that. Okay. Apparently it makes the combat smoother, that's why. Well, I played it on a Pro Controller originally, so I'm all good. Yeah. <laughs> Keep those levels coming. Warning, if you're easily scared, this level is not for you. <laughs> uh. M -m -m massacre Come on, they've already died once. Isn't this a bit excessive? No, they can die again. <laughs> That's the hidden thing for this level. Fun secret guy, I think. 
Oh, there's a lot of ghosts. Ah, run! Ah, uh, they're the circling ones. You know how much fun they were in Mario Maker. Oh, yeah. Can I make it across? I think I can. It's my mansion now. Who's oh, yeah. right by the end? Don't stand a chance. Nope. Time for the big dragon guy again. Mm -hmm. And this time he's pissed. This one took a few tries of the play for if I recall. Okay. Rise to it, Tom. Don't rise to it. Don't rise to it. Actually, you need to rise to it because it's a vertical level. <laughs> I'm doing whatever I can to keep myself awake right now. <laughs> Let me have this. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, jeez. Ah. Uh. That's not really all that kind. Just putting that there. I don't really appreciate it, thank you. What? Oh, right. Oh, did that just sort of skim you on the side? Apparently it did. Ah. Bitch move, game. Bitch move. Sort of. Just don't let him get you. I won't. Yep, that's my B. Please do not. Oh, I like the keeps the fact you got the diamonds if you have to redo the level, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Go faster now, thank you. Oh, 
A little bit of insurance. Mm -hmm. Never hurts. A bit too many menus going on right now. Uh, keep going for the love of God. If <laughs> you keep climbing, climb for your fucking life. Bloody hell, my head. Bonk. <laughs> I had to see your rotating motion work in the 3DS one, go remember. I think you just use the touch screen. Alright. That sounds easier than motion controls. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Oh level. yeah, he's concussed as fuck now. <laughs> and now he works for me. <laughs> Don't underestimate Cappy's power. <laughs> no. Oh. Let's see. We have a donation from Kyrex, five dollars fifty-five. He says, "Here's that five fifty-five donation you requested, Tom. Something to help you through co-coming with Flame, your best friend in the troll wild world." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kyrex. And we also have a donation from Silver Dude of $18.31, who says, This is definitely going to be the last donation I'll make during the marathon, but I wanted to get you guys to where we only need $100 more. Who knows? Maybe we can make Tom and Flame do the Mario. P.S. I'll round it up for you. Thank you very much. Swing your arms from side to side. <laughs> Etc. <cetera. laughs> Okay, so yeah, we're now under a hundred dollars away from nine thousand. Mm -hmm. Just a number, nothing more. A foddy number, it, nothing more. It, it's more than a number. <laughs> it's a way of life. <laughs> uh. Nice. Think it's on, it's fine. Yeah. yeah, Silver dude, the fact that we've managed to over double our goal is fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tom, mm -hmm. we have a donation from Anonymous $95.14. Net net, then a load of sensor stars. Tom must suffer. So we are now at $9,000.69. So that means we are officially over 9000 Oh! <laughs> we get a thing of that for the Twitter. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Whoever you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, nip nip anon. <laughs> uh, that you don't really expect me to know who that is. It's a little bit insulting, but I'll take it for charity, <laughs> don't worry. Uh, yeah, it's more about helping them, the kids that your pride. <laughs> I guess. I guess! Nine thousand and sixty-nine. 
you got two memes in one, I am perfectly okay with it. Of course you are, Flame. Here I go! I missed my chance to get a third diamond there. Oh well. There we go, got the toy up. Nice. Ouchie. That's not bueno. Yeah, just get a projectile to the face. Hmm. That's the good shit. Or is this a bad shit? I can never tell. You don't want to say this, don't worry Tom. I didn't, didn't try to be anonymous, I don't like doing these sort of things. I prefer not my name being attached so people know I'm a shitter with a heart of gold. Okay, <laughs> that's fair, Deimos. Thank you for being as generous as usual. Yeah. And thank you for everyone else not letting Deimos carry it this year. <laughs> yeah. A gold member asks, are you going to play the DLC levels as well for this? Uh, not in this, but uh, for YouTube, yes. Yeah, just carry on the playthrough later down the line. Mm -hmm. That could be something easy Rich and I can do in between Xenoblade. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I remember watching you get lost in this level. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> he lied. I mean, I have fun. You always have fun at my expense. <laughs> no way, sometimes I have fun at other people's expense. Just get the start on, just move on. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the Xenoblade LP will be Tom and Spar. Mm -hmm. Carrex. On the trail of the Great Bird. A god member asks, how are you tackling the side quests for Xenoblade? Are you doing them as you go or going to do a side quest part every now and then? Uh, we're doing whatever takes a fancy, really. I'll do a bunch of them uh, off screen, really. Yeah, just keep the LP mainly story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Silver Dude, I think the fact that there's a pandemic right now is making it even more impressive that we've raised so much. Mm -hmm. like, I know people have got to be careful with their spending and whatnot, so the fact that we've managed to get as many donations in for the kids as we have is amazing. It's pretty great, yeah. Thank you all. Can I ask, which member in HFC shall volunteer to round up Tom's marbles? I think he needs them. <laughs> oh, Flame's usually uh, my secretary, so... <laughs> That's the politically correct term, yep. Well, I didn't want to say bitch boy, alright? <laughs> well, I mean, you're my wrangler, so it works out. I guess so, mate. Balls. <laughs> you know what? I don't even want that key. Bucker. <laughs> Desune. <laughs> just a couple will do me just fine. I need to ride them. Gosh darn! Oh, that was the key disappearing, that little tick-tock noise. <laughs> All right. Ah. There's, no, there's no proof of these allegations, Damos. What's he talking about? I'm playing that I'm a deviant somehow. I I'm mean, I'm well aware that my deviant art says I've been deviant for 14 years, but that doesn't mean anything. That's true. <laughs> Flame's not 14, come on. <laughs> I am, I'm 14 and a half actually. No, he's 12, and what is this? 
<laughs> That's funny because most 12 year olds now don't know where that meme came from. Jeez. <laughs> Getting old. Just turned to dust live on stream. Alright, you go round there, I'll go round here. We'll go our separate ways. I can't believe Toadette fell out with herself. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Hmm. Oh, okay. Mm, that's one. <laughs> Come on, Tom. Ride it all the way to the top. I want to get off now. Well, shouldn't have bought the ticket then. Booyah, baby. Yeah, I've been there before, Krenna. That's really nice of you that you contributed it to the carry. Mm -hmm. Come on, steady now. Right, you just wait there, Toda. Your ride's coming. Yeah, that's not one for Toadette, that's for Toadette. Ah, okay. It was confusing <laughs> until you explained it to me. <laughs> now everyone's confused, let's continue. <laughs> the clone's gone now, though. Uh. Bullet Bell's Touchy Trials. Here I go. <laughs> it's funny, because you don't want to touch Bullet Bill. No, you don't. Therein lies the humour. I understood that joke, therefore I'm smart. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're always smart, Flame. Just a bastion of intelligence, really. <laughs> I can't help but feel that might have been said in jest. Ooh, a little bit sarky, is it? A little bit sarky? <laughs> Uh, Demos asks, are either of us interested in Ghost of Tsushima? It doesn't really look like my kind of thing, I'll be honest. I wouldn't mind giving it a shot, if someone wants to quit look at mm, Fair enough. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's what happens when I'm tired. My odd mouth noises become a lot weaker. <laughs> that's good. I appreciate that. Do you want me to just not sleep before recording sessions in future? <laughs> that would be very much appreciated. <laughs> oh, tough shit, I like my beauty sleep. Well... <sighs> can't call you ugly, because I'm fucking Shrek with worse teeth, so... I mean, I literally cover my face with facial hair for a reason. Okay. Oh, I forgot what I need to do here. And it's totally not because I look like a ten-year-old without a beard. Yikes. Ah, no. Hitbod says, I must say, this is a totally great stream. <sighs> anyway, guys, this has been uh, the Super Nintendo <laughs> Bond. Uh, we'll see you later. <laughs> Goodbye. Get back here, you bitch. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I forgot how you reset to the uh, thing. Oh, well, I don't matter. That's what you get for fucking about. <laughs> Ah! He's fine, I did it. I'm not gonna get any on this, I don't think. Well, you're still like seven above what you're needing, you so you're fine. Yeah, I guess so. Your life's journey's complete, that's one headbutt. <laughs> <laughs> 
bra na 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 yeah Spend my old scar fault. Here I go. Heard you like perspective puzzles. Oh god. Red one's heard, bro. <laughs> Red one's home. Yeah. <laughs> and the most wonderful uh, secret objective for this one is um, don't get here. Oh, goody. Oh, you bitch. What are you gonna do? Hey. Eh? Can I give it some of this? Can I give it some of that? Come yeah, on. the entire game is technically perspective puzzles, but this has the whole, like, walking on the walls kind of perspective puzzles. Darn. Well, whatever. That's not correct, not just yet. Kern has clipped it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright, so let's take. <laughs> Son of a bitch. No, leave me alone. I like how our most clippable material is stuff other people give us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh no, this bit's tough. It's fine, just avoid the piranha plants. I did it. Nice. Battle Tower Blitz. Oh, I actually need 75 for this one. Oh, okay, so yeah, you are going to have to get another couple. Mm -hmm. Here I go! Here I go! Never stop in flame. That's fine. <laughs> How can I resign while still being important, says Flame to himself. If I wanted to be important, I wouldn't be an HFC. Oh, schnizzle snap! <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I, I know the whole me being a suck up thing was a meme a couple of years ago, but like, if I wanted to get any sort of clout, I would like, suck up to someone who had some. <laughs> yeah, very true, very true. Correct says Tom, you're important to him. Aw, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. But also pointed out that Toadette isn't Man Shroud, so you might need to work on the voice. Mm. <laughs> I'm not going to, by the way. You get the voices I give you. This isn't fucking like. <laughs> voices <laughs> plural. Yeah. Yeah, Tom, are you gonna wear the crown and become Tomat? You gonna sh shut up? <laughs> no, I wasn't planning on doing that. Okay. As long as we're clear. There we go. Ba -da -da -da. Yeah. Nice. Whew. I will just be a second, okay? Okay. I'll just work my way through the Battle Tower Blitz here. And then we're on uh, book three. Hope my audio is okay since I adjusted my headset, by the way. Ouch. Hmm. 
Ah, that's one I always tend to miss, so I gotta make sure to get it. Bollocks. This one's pretty fun. Timed that pretty well, so I did. That one, not so much. Nice. Yeah, tell you that's about to become the avatar. It's pretty lit, actually. I have some nibbles, so I will mute again and spare you the mouth noises this time. Thank you, Flo. Right, I've run past all these guys. No, mate. He needs to get out of here. Is what he needs to do. Where is you? C -c -c Combo. Be very careful destroying these platforms. You will need some of them to uh, get the third gem. Should be enough. Uh, yeah, I just need to uh, free my way back, so to speak. Hmm. Now I've got them balls to up. Ah, that's a shame. Well, I got two of them, so that's enough. And Captain Toad is just there. There's no fight with Wingo, as far as I'm aware. Oh, no man, there he is. No fight though, as far as I'm aware. Aw, oh, he's not a Yoshi. To be continued. Right now. Alright, last book time, guys. And this one is 28, so that's 10 more levels than the regular one. Let's go. Captain Toad, motherfuckers. Look at him go. No. Hmm. We'll probably have to concentrate on getting at least two diamonds or gems per level, no? Hey, Tanner, what's up? Tanner says, is there any proof Captain Toad is a captain? I can't see him ascending the military ladder with his PTSD after the Great Ape War. Well... You just have to ask him yourself. So in the Great Ape War, would the Toads have been on the side of the humans? They would have been on the side of Peach and whatnot, yeah, I would assume, yeah. 
Yeah, huh. <laughs> There's a really funny Game Grumps animated that depicts a war like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Strange how it didn't play the credits again after the second book, but it did for the first one. Yeah, this is just like a mid-chapter. I don't know why they just didn't make it two books and have it be super long. Yeah, oh, like, I suppose it's just one thing just to make it seem a bit more digestible in chunks, which mm. for this kind of game I understand. Yeah, yeah, I feel like um, Spyro 2 could have learned something like that, because uh, the second hub is like packed with levels and it got a little bit tiring. Granted, I did it in one go, so I can't really complain, but I'm going to complain all the same anyway. Yeah, there's a the thing that you sometimes lose track of when you're like, recording stuff and doing marathons and whatnot, in that a lot of games are designed for you to like maybe play an hour or so at a time. Exactly, so you know. Oh, I was milliseconds from walking into the lava. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Kyra, this game grumps can be funny sometimes. Yeah, I'm not like... Oh, they're, they're saying words that begin with A. What a bunch of assholes, that type of thing. Like, if they do something I don't care for, I'll say so. If they do something I enjoy, I'll make sure to say so and probably link it so other people can enjoy it as well. Yeah, so the thing is, like, the game grumps can be funny when they're just doing their thing. It's when they try and force it that it's not funny. Yeah. Well put, mate. Yeah, Chain Kong is technically a prisoner of war. Yeah, um, I, I can't think of any joke that's not extremely offensive, so I'm just gonna stop. Yeah, that's usually a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just hard cut to Chain Kong at his computer. I can't believe they said that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, can you wait until the end of the stream before you get us cancelled, please? <laughs> that's rich coming from you. <laughs> okay, I've been on my best behaviour these last couple of weeks. The fuck you have. I've seen you in the chat with uh, Deimos and so on. I said best behaviour, I didn't say good behaviour. Okay, well that's fair and also worrying. <laughs> oh, look, you do ask a lot of me sometimes. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's the point, Tanner said you literally admitted to murder earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> so me shitposting is worse than murder? <laughs> yes, yes it is. Okay. You hurt my feelings, therefore you're wrong and need to be cancelled. <laughs> Look, if I was going to get cancelled, it would have happened by now. Yeah, it kind of would have, I think. <laughs> there we go. Now, I believe the uh, secret objective on this is do this without... Uh, killing any of these uh, spike guys, which as you can see is harder than it looks. Yes. Not gonna happen here, I don't think. <laughs> nope. Again, I've done this on the, the playthrough, sir. Yeah. You've done your time, now we're doing a casual fun run. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which is ironic, because I don't think you'd ever catch me in a fun run. Well, <laughs> if, it, if it's a game fun run, then you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, I have to do timing puzzles, where the timing is a bit off thanks to my capture card. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Thankfully I know how to anticipate this sort of thing. Yeah, just watch it blinking on screen. Thank you, visual aids. Oh. Yeah, I'm glad the capture cards I use now doesn't have delay, because I know how it feels trying to work with this sort of thing. What do you have nowadays, mate? I have an internal Ava Media. Ah, oh, okay. So, like, it connects directly to the PCI board rather than having to go through USB, so it just, just doesn't have the delay. I got you. I'm fine with this as is. I'll probably upgrade one, though. Yeah. So, uh, you've got the audio fix now, which was the thing that needed fixing. Like, visuals is just, like, a luxury thing. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 bear. Because, like, we know most of the people watching tend to have it on in the background. So. Yeah. Look at you over there. <laughs> Thankfully, this floats in mid-air. So it's all Yeah, like, if I had to flick it off, this would be hell. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tanner, I tried using one of the Elgato HD 60S's. Like, for some reason, it just didn't play ball with myself. For some reason, like, the audio was a bit fucky, so I sent it back. Alright. You heard it here first. It was fucky, y'all. <laughs> yeah, that's a technical term. 
<laughs> now, for some reason, it was just like, you know, it, it felt like the audio was coming in a bit, I don't want to say scratchy, but like it just wasn't as high quality as it should have been. Mm. And tinkering around with it did nothing, so I just got an alternative. Got you. Pickaxe Cave Plummet. In English, that's Pickaxe Cave Plummet. Get over here. I'll take that, thank you. Yeah, that's fair enough. If the final video is fine, it doesn't really matter. I, know it's, like, I did notice some blips, but I am also far more sensitive to that, to that kind of thing than a lot of people are, so you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will say I am somewhat envious of the setup Mumps got because like he did show me the raw capture he had from his Metroid run and that quality is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well he's been doing this for a long time, also I'm pretty sure he works in IT to some degree. Yeah that's fair enough. So basically what I'm saying is do not pursue Mumpf. He is too powerful. <laughs> To be fair, he also makes his videos available on his website in high quality, so it's worth it, rather than us just being basic bitches on YouTube where everything gets compressed to shit no matter how good it starts out. Yep, very right, true. Get out of it, go on. Yeah, Silver Dude, sometimes HDMI converters are a bit shit like for their quality carryover. You have to try and get hold of a good one because there are a lot of like terrible HDMI converters to the point where you'll probably be better just capturing the raw composite. Mm -hmm. Nice. See ya! Oh yeah, the uncompressed voice clips from Star Fox 64 or Lilac Wars have started coming about, so we do have a high quality do a barrel roll sound effect now. Can't let you do that, Star Fox. <laughs> there are certain things we just were never meant to hear. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Pandora's box has been opened now and we're going to hear all these things coming about. Well, we can't take it back, mate. Yeah, I am incredibly glad that the people who leaked this lot were smart and just got a fuck ton of it together and leaked it at once, mm -hmm. like before it could sort of get shut down. Because that's where a lot of people try to get a bit clever and try to release a bit of a time to get attention, but it doesn't work because that's how shit gets shut down. Yeah. Well, they were probably young and stupid, so. Well, it's that, and also I think people get a bit high on the attention. Yeah, that's a, a good point, mate. Whoa. That's crazy. Where am I, I going? think people probably do need to get a bit smart about now, given, particularly like with the Pokemon leaks and stuff, people, they've shown that they will completely ruin your life in revenge for it, so you got to be careful if you're going to play mm -hmm. like, that kind of game. Nintendo Ninjas isn't just a fan term, it's real. They will literally execute you, yes. <laughs> like, Satara White will come back from the grave to just destroy you. <laughs> uh. hmm. Trying to figure out where the other one is. Eh, it probably doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> where am I? How'd I get here? I got a bit turned around there, so I did. A bit tilted. Bit tilted, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Uh, just the one. The game will have to fucking deal with it, innit? <laughs> I'm not even sure what voice you're trying to put on there, but it's amusing me all the time. It's a little bit of Cockney, it's a little bit of everything. <laughs> I don't know, it sounded like a chaff trying to do Cockney. Yeah, that's basically what it is. <laughs> it's just a voice that amuses me. Whoa! Ah, stay away from me. Now, the trick here is you follow the biddy buds, but uh, <clears throat> I ain't got no time for that. Now we're just trial and error until all the platforms that are gonna fall have fallen. <laughs> yeah. 
collect a few. <clears throat> it's all good. I believe the secret one for this is just don't fall. <laughs> oh, well, it's too late for that. <laughs> like, follow the biddy buds and so on. I fucking love that sunglasses Malfoy emotes so much. <laughs> So I was watching Max Mofo's Pokemon Sword LP earlier, and he does little edits, like Game Grumps used to do. And uh, when he sent out Draco Meteor, it was just Draco Malfoy's face going Potter, 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 Potter. God. <laughs> <laughs> now this level always makes me think of Conkelder, the Pokemon, but it's not. Nah. Oh well. <laughs> Run, Toadette! I want that though. The design grew on me a lot, I would say. It was one I wasn't that fond of to like, start with. Yeah, that for sure, mate. I agree. You know, I can't believe I ever had a negative opinion about Magnazone. <laughs> yeah, like, Magnazone's just fucking cool. Yeah. It's fucking lit, in it. Oh god, here comes the voice again. Don't do it, Tom. <laughs> By the end of this stream, that won't be ironic anymore. Nope, I'll have transformed. It's too late. No! Got a bit cocky there. Off you go. <sighs> well. Ow. That's just rude. I can see a diamond there, I just gotta reach it. <laughs> oh, and it's an upside down one. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, like, <laughs> I'm just reading chat, Tanner saying, man, I wish I could be a hamster living in a hamster cage for Chiefs and Wheels, would be fucking lit to be a hamster. And Goldmember immediately follows that up with, yeah, and you're dying like five years or so. <laughs> well, <laughs> there'd be five good years at least. Yeah, that's true. Better to have a fun, short life than a long, miserable one. Mm -hmm. Come on. Nice. Run! Come on now. Gotta be careful. Don't go being a twat now, Tom. I mean, unless you want to, your life, your choice. Yeah, I appreciate that. I've got them all. Sweet, now try not to die. My choice, my rules, mate. <laughs> Maybe not for that. Twenty more levels after this, and the game's done. Yeah, cool. Wait, hamsters eat their young? If they oh. come out deformed, yeah. Oh. Well, the secret objective on this one is to do uh, the course in a certain number of touches and whatnot. But of course, you know, we don't fox with that, so. Yeah, <laughs> I think you've already buggered that up. I have back and forth just then. <laughs> mm. It's okay. We can do it. That looked like a really awkward platform to get on. Kind of was. Kind of was. There we go. And then we go around and we press that one. Then we press that one. Then we press that one. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. I only used the switches eight times. Yeah, I think we went yeah. a bit beyond that. Oh, you need a hundred now. Okay. Ah. Well. Oh, gotta go find some more then. <laughs> well, shit. We need six more. Uh, there's one here. Oh, I actually don't know where the third one is here. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Super speed. There it is. How do I be getting over there, isn't it? <laughs> you can't stop. <laughs> no. You can't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> no, but I can tell you when you sound like a fucking chav. Okay, fair enough. I think that'll keep the uh, the gem. No, well, it doesn't. Let's find that. Oh, oh well. well. <laughs> time to go back to book one and get some easy ones. Yeah, uh, yeah. Plucky past beginnings. <laughs> Actually, go back to the chef for us. All right then. All right then. Bit of <laughs> one of two in it. <laughs> Combine the two into something horrifying. <laughs> this isn't even funny. <laughs> <laughs> Here yeah, we can comments in chat. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, well, we might be tired of shit, but this is more of an endurance for the viewers than us. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, there you go, this one. Mm -hmm. da, la, la, da, yeah. You popped into hell, Brad. <laughs> Welcome! Welcome, new galaxy! Ah, uh, sure, why not? A menacing banjo. So we're replaying some old levels just to get a few more of the diamonds because you need to get a hundred of them to get onto the next level. Mm -hmm. So it won't be a hundred percent run, but we'll go back and get some from time to time when we need them. Yeah. And they're very short stage, so I won't. It's not Donkey Kong 64 going back and getting bananas. <laughs> Yeah, nah. That's fine. We're not going to be here this time tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Like, you could probably find a way, but <laughs> we have a schedule to work on. Oh, God. Chills ran down my soul there for a second. No more. Ooh, banana. I've said no more. Oh, banana. <laughs> Me no wanty, banani. <laughs> Gold member asks if you could convince Nintendo, would you want a Galaxy 3 or an Odyssey 2? Odyssey 2? Yeah. Galaxy uh, had two games and they were both great, so. Yeah, and I just prefer Odyssey over the Galaxy games, so, yeah. Fair enough. Watching Odyssey. Um, well, sorry. Watching Galaxy on the stream did make me realise just how forward uh, the uh, Odyssey design sensibility is compared to uh, Thing Above. Yeah, like, Odyssey is built from the ground up about being freedom to just play it however you want, and I think that really does help it. Yeah. Where's the last one then? Huh. Trying to figure out where it is. Huh. Thankfully, it's not that big of a level, so it shouldn't take too long. <laughs> I'm listening to what you're saying, and I'm not liking it. Yeah, that's right. See, that's the first one. 
do 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 do. Uh, Shy guy ain't gonna have easy. Uh, he might actually. I'm not entirely sure, but it's a bit too late for that now. Yeah, I'm not sure where you would get a like start on him to be able to beat him. Yeah. Alas. What's the level called? Uh, it is Mushroom Mazer. Uh, let me have a little look, see if the guide says anything. Okay, so you got the one that's just in the little doorway. Mm -hmm. have, have you got the pluck patch turnip one? Oh, it's, it says by eliminating the shy guys, the second super gem will appear. Oh, well. So, yeah. Just got to beat them. <sighs> got those. Uh, what's the third one in Shy Guy Heights, mate? Let me have a look. On the platform before the power star, there's a super gem on the other side behind, through the doorways. Okay. No! You don't do that. Not to me. I mean, he clearly just did. Yeah, well, he's a poop. <laughs> you don't have to fool yourself down for that much for Twitch. <laughs> oh, I died. Well, yeah, I try not to do that. The AI on that thing, it was like tracking me. <laughs> it's a very smart shy guy. Mm -hmm. Whew. Oh, it's time. It begins. I've been feeling like that this whole time, but hey. Alright, keep showing off then. <laughs> yeah, showing off that I am more tired and less capable than you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Getting them brownie points, innit? You I don't wait. think that one was intentional, was it? What do you mean? You're in it. Um, no, that one wasn't intentional. <laughs> <laughs> I was right, it's not going to be ironic anymore. <laughs> Remember, you got to go back around and get the thing. I'm, no, you keep it, mate. Oh, dear. Oh, cool. Well, don't forget I'm from Nottingham, so... Or yeah, Nottingham. You have to, you don't, that doesn't mean you have to talk like a chav. <laughs> I'm not talking like a chav, I'm talking like a Nottinghamite. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Alright. Let's do this one. Alright, that's one. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with that stereotype. Shouldn't you sound more like Robin Hood? Pretty sure he was voiced by an American. Okay then. <laughs> Got that one. Boop, boop, boop. Yay. That's another two. Not in, not in him, sung by an American. <laughs> I need one more. Hmm. Where can I get this from? Ah, uh, Piranha Creeper kind of works. Okay. I seize it. Nice. No, no, don't eat me. 
Yeah, that's right, you stupid shit. Stay in place. Hmm. Know your place, scum. <laughs> Tom, this would be more of a question from you. Kyrex asks, you guys ever see Princess Bride or Robin Hood Men in Tights? Great Carrie Elves films. I uh, can't say that I have, actually. Okay. Well, I think I've seen Men in Tights, I just can't remember what I did. Nah, I get ya. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Sorry about that, folks. Momentary setback. <laughs> uh, it's fine. We're here now. We are here. Block free! Whoa, calm down, Tommy. You're not there yet. Minecart ruins rumble. Here I go. Oh, this area looks cool. It's pretty dope, as it were. Yeah, I love that darker sort of colour scheme they got going around. Look, there we go. <laughs> Can't actually remember where the gems are on this one, but it should be easy enough when I see it. Yeah. The government brass, if they ever make a treasure tracker two, what kind of changes would you like to see, Tom? Um hmm, I'm not sure honestly. I think it's the kind of game where the gameplay seems like pretty like solidified and that, so it's just a case of new interesting levels. Yeah, just a standard sequel will do me just fine. Yeah, I'm pretty epic. Don't need to go on about it. Most epic Captain Toad gameplay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's one. Nice. I don't really think this is the kind of game that needs more playable characters, honestly. Like, Captain Toad and Toadette do the job nicely. Yeah. I mean, who else could you pick? Toadsworth? I guess, although he's basically dead now. I mean, he's odd. I mean, he's dead, Flame. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, he ain't been in a game for a while. Yeah, I guess. I mean, neither is anyone who isn't just a Toadry color. Yikes. Yikes, oof, and a little bit cringe. Go back to the chat talk. No. <laughs> it's a bit yikes, innit, mate? A bit cringe. <laughs> Fucking loving it, innit? Gonna load up my Tumblr uh. blog and revlog some Steven Universe. Uh. Not sure it's shutting up about it until you watch it with me. I'm not gonna fucking watch it. Fine. <laughs> it's not. It's not happening. You've Fine. lost that battle. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I have. <laughs> Captain Toad's trials. Yeah, can I get some sad wars in the chat, please? Sad wars for Waluigi. We condemned to only exist in sports games. For the rest of eternity. Wee. It's a demo, so even if it had the right kind of fan service, I wouldn't find it appealing in that hideous art style. It's a fine art style, you just mean. <laughs> no, I just don't like generic Kalox trash. It's not generic, Jesus Christ. I see all the 
pictures and uh, that you've got posts. Still, it looks awful. <laughs> Well, Convince the argument there, Tom. I know. I, wor I worked on it for a while. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah, it sure is, right? <laughs> do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 do 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 Cal Arts is a thing, it's the California Art Institution, and people use that to describe the style because it's very common from those kind of circles. Like, it doesn't mean it's always the case when a certain like, cartoon looks like that, it's just what people have come to associate it with. Yeah, it's an easy buzzword for people who don't want to think. Or people who just don't want to have to explain why the same generic looking cartoon isn't appealing. Or you could use actual words, you know. <laughs> well, I say it looks shit, but people want me to elaborate. I would prefer you would say it was shit rather than just using a meaningless buzzword. But now I know that annoys you. I'm going to say that I don't want to watch Kalos trash. Okay. <laughs> at, at least be honest with me about it. Well, I mean, uh, I'm honest when I say it looks like shit, whatever, so, you know. Oh, Johnny boy. <laughs> nice. Moving on. Hmm. Right, we doing this. Go, Captain Toad, with the speed of light. Yeah, we did leave a toad down there at the end of the last level and it still worked. Yeah. Hmm. I guess as long as you have them, it recognises it. Who knows, but Who bloody knows? Hmm. Yeah, people saying at least Steven Universe isn't totally dumbed down like most kids shows today. That's fine, except for all them problematic toxic messages it gives. Now that's you trying to bait me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had someone calling Steven a violent killer because he accidentally shattered someone. You wouldn't know what that means unless you followed the show, but... That sounds like toxic masculinity to me. Well, actually, you're not too far off the uh, mark, though, for that particular section. <laughs> oh. Alright. <sighs> shooty shooty whiz -bang. secret thing for this one is you gotta do it in a certain number of shots which as you can imagine is pretty hard yeah I'm saying you're just firing at everything here I don't think that's gonna happen but I don't give a fuck flame is the thing maybe you should ah a, a succinct and compelling point I will choose to ignore it <laughs> you, you like choosing to ignore these counterpoints don't you well only when they come from you I don't know, these people who make video essays seem to make strong points. Now nah, you're really trying to bait me, but I'm not rising to it. <laughs> that tone of voice there is starting to crack, I can feel it. <laughs> yeah, the anger is slightly seething. <laughs> See, like, it was fine during Donkey Kong, because I could roll you up enough and then hang you over to Richie, but now I'm going to be on all day, so I've got to sort of pace it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. No, please, please stop going up the ladder. The ladder is what protected you from those red bullet bills. Son of a bitch. 
<laughs> don't, don't bitch out the ladder, the ladder's on your side. <laughs> the ladder knows all. Yeah, Sonic Mon says Flame and Tom having a debate on cartoons is entertaining, and it's especially entertaining for me given that I'm mostly apathetic and that makes it funnier watching you get mad. <laughs> See guys, that's him running away because he's scared of my epic debate tactics. There we go. That should probably stay in place now. Cool. Oh, I had 110 exactly though. Yeah, cool. Ah, it's the golden dragon. Ah, yes. He's super Saiyajin. Come on. Uh, the Kokom here is flame. That's me. We're sorry. <laughs> Literally everyone else is busy today, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I don't even know how I survived that. Well, I mean, it worked. <laughs> sure did. Correct saying what we didn't hear was a muting for a brief second, screaming, raging, frustrating. Frustration, even. Like, the thing there is, Tom would mute because I told him that he could set up a hotkey to mute this headset, but he hasn't. <laughs> Why are you always got to bring this personal shit into live streams, mate? <laughs> I'm just letting people know the situation. <laughs> the situation. Uh, I don't know. I got myself into this conversation topic and now I don't know how to get myself out of it. <laughs> well, I ain't helping you. I'll go back to the whole your cartoons and shit one. Well, I don't listen to you anymore than I do to the people on Reddit, Tumblr, or YouTube, mate. Uh, so when you don't listen to them by making like 20 tweets a day about... I'm not rising to it. <laughs> you will. <laughs> you will do. You will do. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, it's basically a shiny version of the dragon from earlier. Basically. I, I am easy to sell with these kind of aesthetics. Like, if you just make something solid gold, it's cool with my eyes. Mm -hmm. Walk across. Can't see shit. Carrick, it seems like a lot of people seem to talk about SU being bad. What are you talking about? Uh, Karach just said, to be fair, I've also been hearing people calling us you bad, so like, it seems like a common opinion. Not really. Just very mildly opinionated people, a eh, flame? I have no opinion, so... <laughs> <laughs> It's one of them that I will say, in fairness, a lot of the kind of people you talk about having beef with do seem like far up their own arse. It's just funny watching how much you get rolled up well, over it. Well, I've told you this before, and I hope you do understand this outside of the trolling bit. It's not the the fact that they dislike something I like. It's the misinformation being spread, because we aren't arguing quality of the thing when I talk about this stuff. It's what actually happens in the episodes. See, what I kind of see from the outside looking in is, and this is a, an argument that for most things that get criticised, I would see as like just a non issue or people exaggerating stuff. But with the Steven Universe fan base, and like for a lot of these Tumblr friendly cartoons yep, yep. in general, it feels like people tie their expectations of the show as a kind of personal thing like an identity politics thing mm -hmm. and they feel like the show is speaking for their particular group mm -hmm. and that's why the little things that for most shows people wouldn't think about like think twice about it seems to be a big controversy like i remember that one about like a character in the art book and oh they were saying that it was it was racist or something like that. I look, like, that's the sort of thing, like, I saw the design, it doesn't look like any kind of racial stereotype. It looks like the sort of thing that someone who's in their mind 
like seen this as like a bastion of diversity in this particular show they're now looking for flaws in it mm. and it is like a really unfortunate situation that a lot of media that does have like a more diverse cast and trying to represent people who don't usually get represented do end up attracting some of the worst people imaginable mm -hmm. Because like that, I feel like that is why like a lot of high-profile media does tend to play it safe and just have a generic white guy as their lead. Because if you write him wrong, then at the worst, the accusation you get is that you're a bad writer. Mm. Whereas if you write a character from another social group wrong, then it gets mished up, and now somehow you're a bigot. Yep, <clears throat> that's correct. And yeah, the, uh, Kyra, she do have um, a grain of truth there with the whole uh, Rebecca Sugar writes in a very emotional, logic kind of way, because it's true. Um, the plot threads make sense in a logical manner, but the progression to get there is very much based on the emotion of uh, the show, how these characters interact, like, and so on and so forth. Um, but, you know there's the whole bad writing thing when it's very clear the people who are making these arguments didn't even know what was being presented to them in the first place and just brought their own headcanon to the fore. Headcanon has the word cannon in it, though. That's the way some people operate, mate. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I, I've mentioned this, like, in terms of, like, the diversity and social justice stuff. This has been a thing for years. Like, I remember back in the day with certain shows, certain anime and whatnot, that people would take it very personally if they'd come up with, say, a certain ship that they wanted to happen, and that didn't happen. Like, it's just a thing that does sort of, like, time is a circle with this kind of shit. It just gets new, like, layers and, like, new clothes every now and then. Yep. And, like, just to get off this point, with the last one that I have here, uh, the most recent season dealt with the main character's lingering trauma, and so on. And, um, since they didn't really show him in therapy and whatnot in the, uh, in the final episode, it's mentioned that he is, but Re Rebecca Sugar wants to keep it private, because the whole show is from his point of view. That's, like, over 180 episodes where the character gets no privacy whatsoever and she writes them as if they were real characters so yeah that kind of, that that to me kind of falls apart because like it's a fictional character you're meant to tell their story well she did <laughs> yeah but uh, you know that that kind of does seem like a bit of a last minute cop out thing but you know that's just how it comes across from mm. the explanation no you see i understand that but it's the one where it's like oh this is a bad portrayal of mental illness and so on. Oh, it didn't match up with my my experience, so it obviously can't be the accurate one. There's there's no way they didn't crack open a book or read some websites about this. It has to be absolutely correct because in my mind, I've decided that these people are incompetent, so they are incompetent. It's like say if someone had a grudge against us and we couldn't do anything right in their eyes. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, but like that's the sort of thing that I see this as a, it's a fictional story. It's not meant to represent these things 100% accurately. Like They'll obviously try and do their best, but at the end of the day, you need to see it in the context of a story. Yeah. No, it, I, like, I agree 100%. Yeah. yeah. It's like, this cartoon is not your therapist. Exactly. Like, these are 11-minute episodes. Sometimes you're not going to be able to fit everything in that you need to, you know? Hmm. I think that was the most intelligent conversation we've had about that show ever. <laughs> it's never fucking happening again, I hope you understand that. I appreciate that, mate. <laughs> so yeah, it's not so much, oh, I didn't like this, I didn't like that. It's more so, I hate that they did this because that means that, or X means Y, when it really should have been Z, you know? What's a Z? Don't fly, of course. <laughs> I've got to take the intelligence down a lot, so you know. But, but yeah, I get where you're coming from. I do still think that when the people are just making bullshit stuff, like it's probably not worth engaging with. Because if they're at that point, then they're probably beyond reason. Yeah. No, it's but, funny actually. Uh, she did a, a Zoom call Q and A uh, for the movies art book recently, and one of the things she thanked people for was coming to bat for her and helping to 
uh, dispel some of the more stupid shit. And uh, one of them actually was that, uh, and this is something people have actually said because I've seen it, is that she's not bi because she married a man. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's exactly how that works. Though. I don't get how some of these people work. I, I see that discourse around a lot of stuff outside that context as well. It's, it feels very much like uh, people want famous people to validate them and how they are. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Like, that's just not going to happen. Anyway, uh, I've made Flame do more than he wanted to, and I appreciate you humouring me there. So. That's fine, but we have something much more interesting to talk about now, because we have a donation from Anonymous of $135 that says Final Tidings comes to the Hellfire. Aww. This has been a fantastical marathon of wonderful games. I see you have made it past the powerful level of 9k. Stupendous! For chancing a final wave we may hit that 10 of k Either way, thanks for such a great event. It's for the kids. Signed, The Benefactor. Thank you very much for yeah. all the donations. You've put a lot in, mate. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, actually. Um... I hope we see you next year. If not, uh, I hope you have a good one. Yep. <sighs> yeah, I understand your point there, Kyrex. I'm not going to bring it up because I've already taken enough of Flame's time and I am wary of how much I talk about it. It's your own stream, mate. Don't worry about it. Like, the reason I sort of make little jabs pay when it's on Twitter and that is because it does feel like you're humouring people who aren't worth humouring. Like, not necessarily directly, but it's like this argument lives because, you know, it's being made a talking point. Yeah. But like, just on your stream here, like, you can talk about whatever. I can just go quiet while you ramble. Fair enough, mate. <laughs> In fact, if you want to continue, that could be my sandwich break. <laughs> no, it's, okay, well, uh, the finale of Future uh, was criticised in a few places for making it seem, for whatever reason, because I didn't get this, uh, that the group hook was what cured Stephen of his PTSD and trauma completely. Uh, never mind the fact that a hug is actually one of the most beneficial ways you can help someone in regards to calming them down from a manic episode. Never mind the fact that we know there's a time skip and we know it's a few months down the line and we know he's still attending therapy sessions and whatnot. No, it has to be something completely bullshit that exists in the minds of people who are just looking for an excuse to criticize, really. And that's what I'm against. I hate terrible discourse more than anything. Oh, too bad. <laughs> too bad, discourse time. <sighs> I'm actually not doing too bad in terms of uh, being awake and whatnot now, Kyrex, honestly. Ah. Come on. Cannot stop me. I am the man. Oh wow, I didn't expect him to come through though. Kill them. Kill them all. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Come on. Climb, climb, climb. Nice. Yeah, I'd rather people actually be rational and think through their arguments rather than just thinking from the heart, which is, um, ironically, uh, what you could criticize SU for in regards to how they write things and so on. Uh, and even in the earlier... I would say Rora season, they, um, even if the tone was all over the place, uh, they still did things emotionally, like Garnet fucking sings and dances, and that gives her power, for fuck's sake, I mean, come on. Uh, but, um, yeah, it just waters down critical thinking and discourse, because critical thinking isn't just being critical, it isn't just criticising things, it's the act of 
removing anything extraneous or like childish or ill thought out from your argument and like laser focusing on stuff. And that's what I'd rather see more of. And trust me, I have my own criticisms of the thing, but it's never going to be something that didn't actually appear in the show. Let's nice try, Kamek, you fuck. Get out of here. Nice. Don't know where that key was going. Yikes. I'll take that, thank you. Have any sandwich and whatnot, Flame? I am indeed, and I mute so you don't have to listen to me. <laughs> oh, good, because your mouth voices are horrifying at the best of times. I'm just saying. Stolen the keep, I'm gonna throw a fucking thing in your face. Ah. C -c -c Combo. Now, oh, don't be so hasty to get our star Joshio. Seems like a trap, yeah. <laughs> Got a few more slices in me sandwich left that I'm gonna just periodically go and nibble at when I, like whenever I need another boost of energy. <laughs> sure, mate. Whatever you gotta do. Yeah. I've forgotten how we get up there now. a little bit beyond me. Ah, well you got two of them. Two is enough for now. It's gonna drive me fucking potty, so it is. D -d -d oh, I see. It's like that, innit? Yeah, bruv. Yeah, bruv, innit? Collecting <laughs> diamonds and shit. <laughs> So it's still fun games now, but the few weeks or so it's going to take for us to wean ourselves off of this is going to be a different <laughs> story. <laughs> oh, I'm not consistent, mate. I wake up every day with a new set of ideas and whatnot. I had develop a new word that I'm going to unintentionally repeat over and over. Yeah. But it's fine, my editor can clean that up. Mm -hmm. It's fine. <laughs> Not bad, I'm just a little absolutely livid. <laughs> Not going after Zombie Toad, go away. Reunited at zombie last. Zombie Toad sounds cool. Yeah, well, we got shit to do. But zombies. <laughs> but, uh, Okay, this is fucking cool too. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we're getting pineapple on pizza discourse in the chat. Oh, bloody hell. Where do you stand on that particular topic of conversation, Tom? I'm good, thanks. Probably gonna have dominoes on the weekend. Fair enough. Yeah, I could do without pineapple. I like mushrooms on pizza, which is another contentious one, but I fuck pineapple. Dude, we're dealing with mushrooms right now, how could you? <laughs> yeah, I'm literally gonna eat toad. Yeah, I love that for me! Oh, I see Mumph in chat is Team Pineapple. Oh, well, he's a guest, so he can say what he likes. <laughs> yeah, nobody's perfect after all. Retro Ramp Up. Oh, Tom, it's classic Donkey Kong. You excited? Very. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's fine. Doing absolutely fine. My mushrooms are not what's wrong. Yes, yes they are. Alright, mushrooms on pizza is great, so is ham on pizza. I like extra cheese and stuffed crust. Hell yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I've got two people on my side at least. Yes, well, you're a cock. Hmm. I don't know how that correlates. <laughs> because it's true. Hmm. You're a penis weenus, is what you are. I think this piece of talks my cock hungry. It's just said to talk to now. <laughs> Fine. No, I'm not asking you again after this flame, so don't bother. <laughs> ah! Hey, that's pretty good. You're right, you haven't got to go for the centrist take on pizza toppings, it's fine. What's he doing? <laughs> Just saying, as far as I'm concerned, as long as you enjoy what's on the pizza, nothing else matters. But I want to argue about it online! <laughs> exactly. What's the point of not arguing online? Yeah. <laughs> yeah for, in fairness, Brad, plain cheese pizzas are fine. Son of a bitch. You know, that is ultimately the makeup of a pizza, a cheese and tomato. Yeah, it's just cheese and tomato bread. Yeah. But the way the gooeyness intensifies fuck is uh, what makes it transcend. <laughs> you like spike balls on your pizza? I do. Spicy, spiky pepperoni balls. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not giggling, you're giggling. Shut up, you. You have to be super quick with this one. Because mm. you, you got it. You don't get enough time, otherwise. All right, nine more levels. Yeah. Yeah, pepperoni on pizza is fine. Not my go-to, but I'll take it. Mm -hmm. mm. Even if I get perfect on this next one, I'll need one more. I think you've still got some first stage levels that you can redo, mm -hmm. if you need be. Well, I'll check out the Russell Dazzle slider again. The home of okay. discourse. <laughs> oh, double mushroom. Nice one, Karax. Nice. I'm surprised we haven't got into the Papa John's or Domino's discourse yet. Don't, because you're making me hungry now. <laughs> okay. Whoever has coupons, that's the small answer. Which is why it's not mine. <laughs> mm. Don't. Got the idea in my head though. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
I mean, there's nothing stopping you from going and get something else to fill you up between games. I know. <laughs> yeah. fact, please do, because I'll feel bad if you're sitting here hungry while I'm nibbling away at sandwiches. <laughs> no, no, I did have a meal earlier, I just had a plate of sausages. Ah, oh, fair enough. I had a bit of egg and bacon, but mm -hmm. not much. That's why I still got grub now. That's what I used to do um, when I used to have like one meal a day, is I just have a plate of uh, protein, essentially. Yeah, fair enough. I, I can't do that. I get hungry really quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't mention Domino's having constant online coupons! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Don't do it, Tom. Don't do it. Don't you do it, Tom. It's taking all my willpower to focus on the game right now. <laughs> See guys, what you're not seeing is got the website open and another tab. <laughs> I am a, an amazing multitasker when it comes to shoving food in my fat gob. <laughs> so what's your shortcut? Is it control and P for pizza? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny actually, well done. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay. Come on. There it is. Nice one. I'll see how I feel at the end of Mario 64. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you're turning, you're slowly convincing yourself more and more. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, oh, you could pay this one back, Tom. It's fine. <laughs> so I don't want to take advantage of a friend's kindness. More but than twice never... a month. <laughs> you haven't done that, though. You're fine. I keep telling you this. Okay. <laughs> you will accept my kindness, whether you like it or not. <laughs> but that, that's not kind enough. <laughs> uh, okay, so how do we go down here? How do we do... Uh... I, I just heard something go all magical and whatnot. Yeah. And I'm not sure. But maybe this is the way. Maybe. Hmm. Just go all the way down, just try not to fall to your death. Uh, no promises, mate. Oh. There's a gem. Just stop reading chat for a minute. I'm not reading chat, that was a sigh of contentment, because I'm enjoying this level. Okay. <laughs> you know, you're all enablers in chat, I just want you to realise that. Uh, well, in less pizza-related news, we have a donation from Month of $37.36, saying it's over 9000 What? 9,000? <laughs> Thanks for putting this on, Tom and crew. <laughs> thank you very much for the donation, well, mate. Thank you for helping us with the marathon, mate. We'd love to yep. have you back next year if you want. Yeah, of course. Of course. Why you gotta be so extra rotating platforms? Come on. <laughs> to annoy you, Tom. I guess. I guess! Come on. Come on. Come on. That's the wrong platform anyway. Pizza hmm. shit. <laughs> that one was on purpose. <laughs> I should just be able to do this. Run, you bastard, run! There, there we go. I don't know when you haven't been in an Avila Demos, but, you know, I've told you before, I hold you to the same rules that I would have barred or anyone else in the channel. Oh, whew. Whew. <laughs> oh, Tom, there's a donation that's come through. It's a dollar sixty-four and it's from a user called Domino's. And the comment is get Domino's Tom. Get Domino's Tom. Get all right. Domino's Tom. Okay, I'll fucking do it after I'm doing Mario 64, alright? <laughs> yeah. That boo is dead as shit. I was keeping it to once a month, but it's been an extreme month, so... You've been busy, you've earned it this month. <sighs> Fine, I guess. All twisted me arm as the diabetes wrecks me poor little body. 
<laughs> the funniest part of that was me calling it a little body. <laughs> uh, keep going. This is a hard one. Yeah. No, I can't laugh at the other thing. For all intents and purposes, I should be huge. You should. As I shut in with a sweet tooth, I should be huge. You should, but somehow you're not, and it infuriates me. Uh. 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 Too bad. You lost. <laughs> you got a bit too close to the ghosty there. Mm -hmm. Go, Tom, with the speed of light. In the correct direction, preferably. Yeah, I won't walk towards the pink goop. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, this is the next level in Abelin. Silver Dude said, as a diabetic myself, I say get pizza. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> I want you all to know I had no control over this, I didn't say anything. It's all, it's all the others, it's not me. Everyone but me is the problem. Yes. I am great and it's everyone else who has the problem. <laughs> uh huh, yeah. Please keep going. Please keep going. I'd appreciate it if you keep going. Uh. <laughs> Leave me alone. They're booze, they're not gonna do that. <laughs> they're scary. You want you wanna die already? Thank you. Oh jeez. Just get the star go. Yeah, just leg it. That's a hard one too, a hundred percent. I can imagine, yeah. Yeah, I looked over at sixty-nine viewers. Nice. Booyah. Touchstone turmoil. Hmm. Will this one have touchstones by any chance? Oh, I don't know, good sir. Maybe it will. <laughs> uh. mm. So I'm going to take a guess and say the task for this one is a maximum number of touches. Uh, yes, you would be correct. <laughs> good day. Yeah. Out the way, you biddy bastards. <laughs> Very slowly. Very slowly. Hmm. Where am I? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about that. That tripped me up in the main playthrough as well. Nah. Gotta be careful here. Bastard, 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 bastard. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of shit to pay attention to right now. <laughs> Well, it's mainly because holding someone requires the same button that moves the stage forward. Alright, yeah. But it's fine, it's done. Yeah. Played the course in 60,000 touches. I did it. That's the easy boat. <laughs> oh god, this one's hard and all. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the final thing they're meant to get hurt. I know, I know, I wasn't complaining. <laughs> like, oh, Tom, you complain about how hard video games are. Are you a casual? No. 
I would never. <laughs> I've got the process traps right here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Sweet baby Jesus and the orphans. Nope. Hmm. Now I'm scared. Looks like you got yourself into the kind of situation where you should be. Yes, perhaps. But maybe. But perhaps. But maybe. Fuck. Maybe fuck. <laughs> maybe fuck, maybe not. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, Jaw Breaker, we've done Sonic Genesis before in a marathon. Mm -hmm. But you know, if we redo Sonic, it would be a good one to get back in. Sure would. Well, there we go. Yeah. You got one of them. One's good. <laughs> yeah. One is better than none. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, moving on. Ooh, a chance to get some lives, perhaps. Yeah. Maybe fuck, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of sound like that, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll see how I feel. Yeah. That won't be a fucking nut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I was just about to get some more coins. More coins was better than some coins. Yeah, Silver Dig, we were having that exact conversation the other day in our group chat about whether Sonic Boom counts as a licensed game. It shouldn't do. It's a licensed game based on the cartoon. <sighs> Cartoon came second. Yeah, and the game was a promotional piece for it. <laughs> Look, just because I'm okay with it doesn't mean I'm fine with it. <laughs> Those technically mean the same thing. <laughs> I don't give a shit! <laughs> Come on, let's get these gems. Yeah, these are the ones I just kind of rushed through. But that's funny, we talked about that as Luke and that, and from replaying it a little while ago, I don't even dislike it anymore. It's just so boring, is the thing. So even that, I sort of got over that. I was enjoying myself towards the tail end. Yeah, well, the you would. Well, the only sections that are really a problem are the ones where it's not clear where to go in the hub world, but once you know, you know. Okay. You heard well, it here I'm first, not, I'm guys. Not a, yeah, I'm not saying it's a good game by any means. It's a broken piece of shit, but it's playable. All right, now we're getting into discourse. <laughs> yeah, we're just now starting to get into discourse. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, huh. oh, okay, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Yeah, Brad, we <coughs> did fire an ice cure in the Sagathon. That's actually a genuinely fun game. Uh huh, I've heard good things. Oh, you were there with me, so. <laughs> Was I in for that one? Yeah. Huh. Can't recall, honestly. By which I mean I've blocked it out. <laughs> it's a good game, though. You ain't gonna block them ones out. <sighs> if you say so. Got that. Got that. Got that. Got that. Not worth it. Book two it is. Do, 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 do. <laughs> hmm. I just need one with two. Are like you just going out of your way to be awkward? Ah! Uh -huh. Two. Cool. It is cool. Here I go. <laughs> okay, so star up there. Uh huh. Do, do, 
Do, do. Nice. It's right there. I got it. Nice. 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 And again, nice. Keep going, there we go. Fuck. Where am I? How'd I get here? <laughs> You're just somewhere. <laughs> Oh nice, no, there's a ladder. Imagine if there wasn't though. You'd be stuck there for all of eternity. Well, let's change the chat in terms of um, discussions now. It just literally came to me now, otherwise I wouldn't say anything. Uh, what was your take on the Xbox event, mate? I didn't watch it. I didn't even watch any videos of it. Like, what I've seen of Halo seems cool. I guess, like, it's not entirely convinced on the whole open world thing, but it looks pretty at least. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I don't really know. Like the, the Yukinaka game looks kind of cool. Oh yeah, but that's multiplayer, so you know. I just want another 3D platformer, really. Yeah, that's fair. There we go. Do -do -do -ba -da. I think you need 150 to complete the game, so I guess we'll see. Yeah, well, just as we go along, if we need to get more, we can always just keep going back. Mm -hmm. However, while is that the new rare thing, Headbutt? Uh, yes, it is, yeah. <clears throat> okay, I've seen screenshots of that, I haven't seen the action yet. Yeah, I don't think there isn't a gameplay for it. Oh, right. well, we'll wait and see. That's probably why you haven't seen anything on it. <laughs> well, I mean, if Twitter doesn't spoon feed me information, I have no way of knowing anything. Very true. Are there any mystic things down there? No. No, there are not. Ah, oh, shit. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I didn't really even need you to die, but you can just stay dead. <laughs> Seems a bit excessive. <laughs> yeah, well, excessive times call for excessive things. I mean, calm down, it's only Captain Toad. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the key? Oh, are they fucking with a timeline in Halo, Brad? That seems kind of unnecessary, given how well kept together the Halo lore's been up to this point. Yeah. Everyone wants a piece of that Kingdom Hearts action. Oh, apparently, never mind. It's just a continuation. Okay, I was gonna say. I hadn't heard anything. Hmm. That is a good question. This is the Hellfire Comes Super Nintendo Thon, the final day. And what we're doing is we are raising money for the Child's Play charity. Mm -hmm. So if you'd like to chip in and help them provide toys and games to children in the hospital, you can click the donate button that's just below the stream window, or that link in chat that Kuran has just posted, the tiltfire.com one. All the money you donate goes directly to the charity, so you know what you got to do. Yeah, not get hit by spike balls for one thing. That was a silly on my part. Yeah, that's a good start. <laughs> it's great. Love it. Translator's note, he didn't love it. No. Come on, Tom, you're being <laughs> a bit silly now. Let's go. Uh, you got to concentrate. Can you do it, though? Answer is probably no. The answer will surprise you. <laughs> There we go. Run, 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 run. <laughs> For your fucking life. Hmm. Fair one, Kyrex. Enjoy your grub, mate. See you later. <laughs> there we go. One leaves food, one comes back from food. Welcome back, crazy Harlequin. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. 
Run. Ah. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't hang about on them spike pads. So. Yeah, Jesus. Keep it going, Tom. Keep it going. Okay, so it wants 155 there. What do you think I'm fucking made of these things? <laughs> uh. Alright. Ready for adventure. I'm not sure what's my ghost comment from Kurenai. It says, you better be careful, Flame. He's a ticking Tom bomb that has 64 alternate accounts. All of them have Tommy guns aimed at you. And they're gun, gun you down if you give him 128 reasons to do so. Okay. I sort of understand that. <laughs> I sort of don't. Well, that's fine. It's not for you to understand. Nothing is. Nah. It's all good, though. Yes, one. Look at all them coins you're missing. Better go back. No. Nope. <laughs> no, sir. Uh, I'll take it in this game. The coins are literally just lives, right? Um, the coins can help you get lives, yeah. Yeah. Eh, one. Better than none. Yeah. Neat. Back my road marathon. This one's fun, guys. Yeah, okay. And it's about fun, guys. Let's see what you did there. Thank you. Oh, sweet Jesus! Oh, this looks cool. How does this look on stream, mate? Actually, he's holding up pretty well, given everything that's going on. There you go. Oh, sweet Jesus! Hey, Tom, I have a suggestion. Uh-huh. Try not to run into the wall. Well, that actually helps to slow you down. <laughs> oh, it's an intentional crash. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I Absolutely. You, don't worry. <sighs> don't be like this. I'm trying to put on the show, I'm trying to help the kids. You're giving it all this. I'm trying to amuse myself. So who's the more noble one, really? I, I don't know. <laughs> Not I. Not I. Oh Jesus. Uh. First try, baby! Nice. Yeah, that's kind of the general thing I've been seeing about the Xbox stuff, Silver Dude. It kind of... It feels redundant having the Xbox physical console now that everything's coming out on PC. Mm -hmm. so I, I know there is still a market for it, because people make bad life choices but like <laughs> it, it, it just seems a little bit redundant in the grand scheme of things I feel like this might be the last generation where they actually put out a console I don't know about that like I, I feel like they're trying to just move the Xbox brand onto something that's a bit more than just a console brand so like it it's gonna become like Microsoft's own sort of publishing platform Right. And I could kind of, I could kind of see it becoming like a, and trying to make it more of a serious competitor to like say Steam than just a thing for Microsoft's own hardware. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, it's like all, all of their marketing for the Xbox consoles recently. It's been about the power of it and whatnot. But like, if you're gonna be spending out money for a premium system to play games on, then you probably would just be better getting a PC. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. Yeah, Sony have a very different approach to their publishing nowadays, which is honestly for the best because, like, they, it just keeps different things happening. It, it does just still mean that the the games I want to play on the PlayStation, I've got to play on the PlayStation. Mm -hmm. well, as far as I'm aware, Spider Man isn't on PC yet, is it? No, no, that is Sony published. That's well, there Sony you go. On PS4 and PS5 soon. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, I really hope this discless console trend kind of dies off. Yeah, well, I'm fully in with digital on Switch, but that's because it's Switch, a handheld. Well, my bigger problem with it is that it's incredibly anti competition because you're locked into the publisher's own store. So it's not like, you know, with physical games, sometimes you can get it cheaper. Sometimes shops will do sales and things like that. Mm -hmm. Like, no, you are at the mercy of whatever the, the publisher wants to charge for it. Right. And it also means that pre-owned games are not a thing you can do. Yeah, that's true. Which is very anti what I'm for, because most of my console games I owned, I've bought on the cheap pre-owned. Hmm. Where are we going? Dun dun dun. Uh, through the pipe. Okay. I don't know which one. <laughs> You're only going with that. <laughs> Doop -ba -doo. It's okay. Go, 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 go. Too go, bad. Go, go. You weren't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, you could have saved yourself that. Yeah, I could have. Shut up. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Alright, then we go up like that, and then we go across like that, and then we go around like that, and then we still go around. Where are you going, Tom? It's fine, we're doing it, we're living it large. Uh, there we go. I, I will say I always struggle on this one. It looks unnecessarily confusing, I will say. <laughs> like, I get what they're going for, it just seems a bit much for that concept. Uh, Oh yeah. Nice. There we go, that's both of them. Yep. Now go forward. No, that's around. It's okay, you're doing your best. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah. Nice. <sighs> uh, one there, one there, one there. Uh, pfft, do I want to get to there? Sure, why not? You might as well. Yeah. Here I go. Leave me alone, you horrible red men. Don't worry, there's plenty of other hazards too. That's fine. It's absolutely fine. Oh yeah, there's definitely gonna be a more refined PS5 later in the gen. There always is. Of course there are. It's just the way it is, baby. Mhm. Mm I think it kind of caught us by surprise a little bit in the fact that this is, as far as I recall, the first generation where the improved, like where the re-releases are genuinely improved versions rather than just being like a slim one. There. Yeah. Ah, oh, there's one that I missed. Well, outside of the Switch, because genuinely, what is the point of the Switch like? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not really uh, feeling it, Mr. Krabs. Yeah, it's literally the main thing, but with less functionality. Ooh, but you could go fully portable. <laughs> that thing that the one that's already out can already do. <laughs> yeah. Da -da, da -da -da -da. 
it's got all pear shaped and whatnot. So is it meant to be apple shaped? Uh, yes, actually. We'll see. Just trying to remember where the last one is, actually. Where is the last jewel? Where are you hiding it from? I will have it. I will. Soon it will be mine. Soon. <laughs> Soon. Yes, but also no. This is annoying. <laughs> What's the level code? Uh, spin wheel sky fort. Right. And it's the third one you're missing, so... Mm -hmm. After getting to the first spin wheel for a second time, line up the orange side of the stage so the heat-seeking bullet bill cannon is across from you. Forget about the power staff for the time being, right behind that cannon, and pull up the pluck patch to grab the super gem. So you got to pluck it out. Okay. That should do it. Oh yeah, I see it. Cool. That's right, boys. Mondo cool. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Motherfucker. <laughs> well, I did it. You didn't, so... <laughs> okay, for now you've got to get to the end. I can do that. I'm cool enough to do that. I think. <laughs> Go away, leave me alone. Oh my god, two of them? Ah. This is incredibly amusing, I've got to say. I know. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> the piece of token the chat's still going. God <laughs> fucking damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, bullet bills thirst for blood. <sighs> okay, so I need two more. Give me one or two, come on. Alright, I can just go back to book one and get some easy ones. Ah. <sighs> Why you gotta do me like this? <laughs> That's good. Mushroom Mazer. Ready for adventure. Are you? Always. Except when I'm not. So this is the one where you got a bit of shy guys. Yeah, I've done it. Nice. Done. Stop tempting me with your extra lives. I will not. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> We don't have lives, we are gamers. <laughs> yes, we are flame. Uh, what's the third one on the King of Pyropuff Peak, mate? King of Pyropuff Peak. Uh, let me get this up. So, the final super gem is in the last pluck patch in a row of four. Okay. So, I'll need to know. Cool. Do -do -do. Run, Toad. Like, I'm not a mathematician or anything, but could someone actually figure out how 
fast turn he's running, given the stuff on his back and whatnot, because he seems to be booking it. Let me else map that. I prefer he didn't. <laughs> Quite frankly. Oh, uh, I believe I started up another channel the other day. They're doing a food theorist one now as well. What? Yeah. Is it food or isn't it? Oh, it is. Good. Mystery <laughs> solved. Bad driving you, please. Life is well done. I don't care. You know how I feel about this. Yeah. It's not my place to say anyway, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> No, everyone should be true creatives like us. Yep. <laughs> this right here, it's my canvas. <laughs> and down he goes. Down he goes. That's just a theory. A food theory. Right, now we can move on. Hopefully that's the last one I need to do, because if it's not, I'll scream! <laughs> okay, can you be ready to mute your mic just in case? <laughs> oh, after this it's sort of the final level, I think. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think you would be completely fucked trying to find the value of Mario coins, especially when you consider the state of inflation in use of Mario Brothers 2. Mm, good point. <laughs> no, that game just completely fucked me from Kingdom's economy. <laughs> That's one. There was a website on Mario currency to US dollars. I don't know how the fuck that's supposed to work. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how they figured that out. Well, a hundred of them get a life, so how much is a life worth? <laughs> Oof. Asking the, the big questions, aren't Flo? Come on, get up there. Ah, missed one, but whatever, whatever. It's, it's not gonna bother us later or anything. I'm seething. <laughs> We're seeing seething <laughs> levels that have never been seen before. This isn't actually a lava level, that's just Tom's rage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, how would a Mario coin be worth over a million US dollars? Yeah, no. <laughs> Like, I get that Mario lives around the royalty and whatnot, but nah. Nah. Nah, mate. You're fucking having a laugh, innit? Having a fucking giggle. Fucking giggle. A giggle. <sighs> Sorry, I had something there, but it left me. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Don't you dare, I swear to God. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> 200 gems. <laughs> More than you could actually get in the game. <laughs> Probably is, yeah. Final boss, guys. Okay, okay. There are extra levels and whatnot, but I was just doing the book, like I said. Yeah. So for those of you who uh, perhaps haven't seen uh, Treasure Tracker before, what's your opinion? Have you enjoyed the game? We might get opinions once Twitch catches up. <laughs> Maybe we will, Flo. Maybe we will. Here we're getting, and it looks fun. And no, uh, great, but you missed stuff. <laughs> well... You're just gonna have to deal with that, I'm afraid. It's fine, Karax. If, if I'm allowed to have game opinions, anyone is. <laughs> what a weird thing to say. Uh, run, Tom. Run. I don't care about no gems. It's all about battling now. Yeah, baby. 
Yeah, the variety of terrain through this game is really, really nice. Mm -hmm. Climb up the ladder. Nope, don't want. <laughs> Not a fan of death. Nope, get off. <laughs> yep, not falling for that one, go. Sorry. Have to come up with some new material now, me, Wingo. <laughs> Mr. Man, guy, angry bird guy. It's okay, but I didn't die though. <laughs> Why you just fell down so quickly? It's hilarious. <laughs> you can't spit at me. I have you in time stop. How is he doing that again? Um. I'm on the ZR button. I don't think Float has the ZR button. Um, well... Ta-da! Magic. <laughs> Fucking miracles. Yeah, Toad does the world, though. <laughs> Alright guys, let's finish this. What about you falling down? Oh, you were meant to, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Kaka! Now I have lightning for some reason. Nope. Mm -mm. Not so dope. You're a bastard, Wingo. I hate you. <laughs> He's a cartoon bird, it's fine, he can't actually hurt you. <laughs> Maybe not emotionally. You blow up my fucking turnip! <laughs> well, you were gonna throw it at him, what do you expect? I know, it's just one of these days you wanna hit a bird with a turnip. I see you're giving it all this, are you? Our uh, child's play have sent us some hearts emojis on Twitty, on Twitter, even. Oh, <laughs> on the Twitty. Fuck. Yeah. Too bad. I wasn't paying attention. Should have been watching the Twitty. <laughs> of course, you don't start from the boss. You start from here because. <laughs> Fuck you! That's part of the boss! Fuck you! <laughs> Look, he's right there attacking you! I know. Come on, get me on there. Thank you. No, run, 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 uh, oh, that actually worked. I don't think Menacing Banjo's comment there was intended to be passive-aggressive, but I'm going to read it as such because it's funny. He says, oh, it didn't restart really with the boss? I never lost, so I never knew that. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Switch version. Yep. I think the Wii U version made more use of the touch controls, from what I remember. Well, I mean, there's a pad right there, so... Yeah. And I imagine that's the version that they adapted for the 3DS.
nice. And you'll have to turn it behind, so I'm going to pick it up. And it disappeared. Yeah, yeah, extra life. You, you really got to start with this turn at blank, it's just not working. <laughs> or, I mean, he has beating you odds. Done. Nice. That was the Switch version of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. You guys unlocked it at 3,500, so thank you for contributing to our cause and helping Charles play. Yeah. And down he goes. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm not actually going to shut down the stream. Um, Ashley Flame, which would you prefer? I don't mind. Like, I can grab the Foz no matter what. Oh, but yeah. I will, say, I will say that... I will probably need a quick break just to go and make another bro to keep me awake through Mario. <laughs> That's fine, I can set up while you're gone, mate. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you, Dragon. Appreciate it. Bada bing! Now, somehow I don't think Super Mario's gonna take as long as Captain Toad did. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, if I can pull <laughs> it off correctly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Another ride on the minecarts. But it's a night this time, which is really pretty. Mm hmm. Now, thank you very much, Tech Fusion. Glad you enjoyed the stream. Mm hmm. Oh. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> yeah, this one's the actual ending. We had the fake out ending earlier on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, there's a flat and why not <laughs> emo. <Yeah. laughs> Oh, for flattery, I love that. <laughs> Thank you, Silver Dude. <laughs> this came in just under what I saw on uh, YouTube. I'm not sure if that was any percent run, but... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Well, he's still there. He's just fuck huge now. <laughs> yeah. Do 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 but it done. Yeah. Yes, explosions all around. Nice. Boy, oh, it's the Odyssey. Oh you know what, I'll throw in the bonus levels. Yeah, I can do, yeah. You guys have been generous so far today. Yeah, give a little bonus. Mm-hmm. In fact, Flame, if you want to go get your drink now, we can probably just uh, shoot over. Uh, can do, yeah. Alright. Well, you have fun with the bonus levels. Alright. Just you and me now, chap. The commentary uh, quality is going to go down tenfold. Bunch of Odyssey stuff. Well, a few Odyssey themed levels, but. Wingo's work down. Welcome to bonus game. Congratulations! Bonus is now open. Like I said, welcome to bonus game. When the Wii U version, it was like the adventure continues in um, 3D world, which honestly makes a lot more sense. Okay, so these levels are the ones where it's just like you do existing ones with the Toe Brigade. So I'm just going to do these four levels here. But they're fun ones. Ready for adventure! There we go, lads. I'm going where no toad has gone before. In the Wii U version, anyway. Haha, <laughs> you silly goose. I fooled you. It was a ruse. Hello. What is going on here? 
there's some sort of a... Is there no thing below me? I must be thinking of a different part. There we go. Shablamzo. That might be the one I'm thinking of. Hello. Yeah, there's something down there, but I don't think I can get to it just yet. See now what must be done. There we go. Okay, fine, I'll get the gem. But only because I want to, not because you asked. I will get the gem, Kermit, and you can't stop me. Nice. Oh, I see why it wants me to take that. That makes sense. Yeah. There we go. And now it turns to night, and you see the inverted pyramid and whatnot. Stand in the way of the cannon, Tom. Don't stand in the way of the cannon. Let's see, you get uh, moons in this one instead of other doohickeys. Doohickeys being stars, of course. There we go. Yeah, in um, the Wii U version, you had 3D World specific levels, but they were taken out for this one. Replaced with Odyssey levels. Alright, this one's a lot of fun, actually. Let's go! Start in a dark cave. It is whoa, whoa! It's kind of scary. Oh, nearly missed that. Fossil Falls is a really cool level, yeah. I just got that. This is the coolest bit of all. There we go. Chain reaction. Boom. Yay. 
I can't promise I'll get the gems for the last one of these, because it's actually kind of tricky, but uh, I'll do what I can. Oh, I think I might have gotten the secret objective for this one. I'm not entirely sure. And they're coloured for their respective kingdoms as well. Oh, it's 320. So I was close. But no cigar this time. Uptown funk you up. Uptown funk you up. It's the Metro Kingdom, of course. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. I'll do this the way I remember it, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fuck. That was bad. Really bad luck. Zoom in a little bit. And get my bearings. Oh, I think one of them just died due to the other. That was good luck on my part. You need to go away and stop balancing on improbable things. There we go. We got a shortcut. Nice. Now we go to the sewer section. No, you stay away. And you. You're very naughty. If I recall, Richie was very passive aggressive to me in this level when we did it in uh, Captain Toad. I don't know why I remember that, I just do. Glad I'm not like that Richie guy. Sounds yeah. like right trouble. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Gotta keep an eye on him all the time. He's always <laughs> out of order. Always. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll leave you this while I have a bit more of me grub. Okay, mate. I think a couple of them are down here. I'm not entirely sure. I guess we'll see. Nope, they must be in the main area. Nice. Hmm. This is pretty crazy. Here's the uh, the hall where you get another one. Toad is in there just chilling. And the last one is at the tippity top, I believe. So you know your boy's got to get all the collectibles and whatnot. Bruh. Yep, we have a new donation. Flame will get to that when he's uh, had his grub. Yeah, this is more important right now. We have a $5 donation from Headbot, who says, Oh, I'll need to head, head off soon, dinner and D&D again. So in case I can't catch the rest of the stream, here's a little something to make up for my stream ending pun. Well done to everyone for getting so far. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, thank you, Headbot. Have a good one, mate. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hey, you climb to the tip of the top. Here's a good uh, screen cap for you, Flame. 
Got it. Oh, you could do it while he shouts. I think I've got one of him slightly leaning back. <laughs> I'll probably do it. Okay, fair enough. Wait, no, I should fall off the thing. That's the cash money thing to do. So yeah, there's only four levels, but uh, they are fun, so... That'll be $60, please. I'm just saying. There we go. Cook Teal's Sizzling Sprint. I can't promise I'll get all the uh, gems on this one, but I'll do my damnedest. Because there's actually a race all the way through, you see. And the course is uh, breaking up behind you, so you cannot go slow. And if you, uh, you want the special thing, by the way, uh, you need to get all of your guys to the end, so good luck with that. Well, I hit a switch, I didn't get all the switches. Alas. Ah, well, what are you going to do? Here we are in the soup. I am officially at soup. Yeah. The clones are dead, but I survived, so I call that a win-win. Yeah, let's give it another shot. I kind of want those gems. Just because I'm greedy like that. And it won't take long, really. Run, you bastard. Run for your life. I like to keep him bunched up. Cougateel, uh disagrees. Because he's a bastard. Well, a couple of them fell, so... Uh, rip my chances of getting this thing. And there's the other one. It's just best if you die and die again. There can only be one true Captain Toad, you know this. <laughs> I know. I know. Why do I refuse to believe what I see with my own eyes? <laughs> there you go, this is a little bit better. Nice. Got him in an almost straight line. There we go. Ah, uh, keep running, you bastards. Oh, welcome back, Kuro. I'm on the tail end now, just doing the bonus levels. Mm -hmm. Come on. That guy on the left keeps getting so fucking close. It's making me nervous watching it. <laughs> Yoink. And now for the last one. Sweet. You had to sacrifice your own men for it, but whatever. <laughs> uh, Captain Toad cares not. <laughs> not today. Not today. Maybe today, who knows. Why are you doing this to me? <sighs> How can I get through to these guys? This is a self-imposed challenge run at this point. <laughs> My mum just let me know he might have been able to get the high quality version of his prime run rendered, so that may be in high quality on the YouTube channel than it was in the stream. So that'd be nice. Oh, uh, he's just trying some different export stuff right now just to get it going okay. so it can be transferred. Cheers, mate.
Yes! Go, you beautiful bastards! It's just me, myself, and I at this point. Nah, it's just me and myself. I think I died a little while ago. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get all four of them to the thing to get the uh, bonus objective. Yeah, Kun, I read that one out a little while ago. Mm hmm. Yeah. You made it. You made it. So, yeah, there we go. That is the end of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Thank you guys for watching and donating. Coming up next on YouTube will be the final incentive game, which is Metroid Prime Free Corruption. Coming up next on the stream is the final game of the marathon, Super Mario 64. And there may be a little skip or so in there, so hmm, let's see if I can get it to work. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.